What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, we're playing some camera centering and <laughs> Zombicide Wolfsburg. All right. Yes, we're late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so this is a classic. Uh, we haven't played Wolfsburg, but we played, it's an expansion, actually, for Zombicide Black Plague, which won our Patreon poll to pick this game to be played uh, after some fun uh, last week. Uh, where somebody was kind of harassing us in chat to play Zombicide over and over again. I thought, hey, why not put up all three versions of Zombicide in a Patreon poll, let the supporters of our channel vote which one we should play, and they picked the fantasy version, which we've done a whole bunch of playthroughs on the channel of most of the quests in that one. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I was looking at it, I was like, wait, we've never played Wolfsburg. I looked it up on the channel. Nope, never touched the Wolfsburg expansion that we paid for. Just like most of the Zombicide crap you get when you back a Kickstarter, you get way more game components than you'll ever touch or play. Uh, so we thought, hey, let's play some Wolfsburg. Let's try it out. Let's play with the zombie wolves uh, and see how that works out. Uh, but I just have to... I don't know what's going on here. So yeah, I don't know if you guys know how to play Zombicide, if that's like a common knowledge thing or not. Usually usually when we play Zombicide videos before, we just bust right into it and start playing without any explanation. But... I, I don't know. I, th I think we'll be okay. We haven't played in a while. Uh, we did not play this to warm up this week like we normally would because we thought, ah, we remember lots of it. Kind of glance over the rules. So we apologize any hardcores that are watching who are like, oh, you're doing this wrong. So let us know in the chat if, if you catch us messing up anything. If you're watching in the comments later, just drop it down below, timestamp it, just in case people are watching us later and they're like, oh, let's see how they played and... You know, and uh, we made mistakes, but we have the rule books nearby and stuff yeah. just in case. But we did do some quick research, right? We did read yes. some of the basic stuff and like yes, make sure yes, that we yes. had all the basic rules. But uh, so yeah, warning: we may seem like we don't. <laughs> we may seem like we don't know what's going on with Zombicide. It's because if you watch our Zombicides on our channel and then you're watching this in a playlist like right after this happened, like. Years later. Years after we last played Fantasy Zombicide, <laughs> we played Invader last year, but that was the last Zombicide we touched, I think. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Let's check in settings over here. Okay. Uh, who's in the chat? We got Battlecry here. Vaulty Joe's here. Battlecry was really early. Yes. Today. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. You were 26 early. minutes early. <laughs> I like it. Not late like us. Uh, Dragon's back. Hello, Sajat, too. I haven't, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. <laughs> yeah, right. Kate's here. Hi, Kate. Hello, Kate. Uh, let's see. Vaulty Joe is here. Well, if you want, you can always put this to the side and play something good. No, no, this is good, uh -huh. just not great. Zombicides are good. They're they're good games. They're good games. They're great for playing with people who aren't really into board gaming, and they're still got decent strategy. They're fun, fun with all the dice rolling and randomness and stuff. But uh, they can be great if you just want to play a nice, relaxing Thursday night game and yeah. not get bogged down by rules and. And erratas and skills and traits and 26 reference sheets and 55 page rule books. Everybody that watches the channel yeah. knows Thursday is our chill night. Most of the time, Most of yes. Time. This is a little more hardcore and longer than we usually like to play on a Thursday night. But this is the intro scenario for the expansion, which says easy in 60 minutes, which we could take a look at right here. Uh, yeah, uh, easy and 60 minutes, supposedly, supposedly. Yeah, 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess if you die quick, right? No, no. Well, let's probably assume that's how long you'll take to complete it. So it's not too too complicated, this scenario. It's like no. obviously pretty intro. But we've not played with the zombie wolves before. We just get three activations so they can tear across the board really fast or rip you to pieces. Uh, if, if, you're, if they're in your space already when they start their activation, they'll get three attacks on you. Uh, doing one damage each. Uh, and this one also has towers. Uh, which is this spot right here, uh, this tile. We'll show that on the screen in a sec. Uh, but this one you can go like up the stairs, up a level, and kind of see down and shoot. Uh, if you have a ranged weapon, kind of shoot over buildings and see down into the streets. Kind of neat. They have that in Modern Zombicide, I remember. I don't know if Invader probably has it in the expansions. that I just refuse to buy anything more than the core set for that one uh, in the uh, Kickstarter. But... Uh, they probably have that in the expansions because they just kind of repackage the same thing over and over again and keep selling it to you. Uh, let's see here. So uh, we have six tiles put together here. Uh, this is what you're going to see on the screen in a sec. Uh, we got a whole bunch of doors. I assume Mel set it up right. It's her that set this up. So uh, I haven't checked her work. Uh, but I will kind of quickly look. I double checked it. 
And we'll just turn some doors out into the streets so oh, it looks, sure. looks cooler. Oh, sure. Looks, yeah, I got them pointed all inside. Well, how dare you? The doors we'll work. We'll correct it before we switch back to the other camera so we'll never know. That one's This that one you have to, yeah. yeah, it's indoors. Yeah, I got them. Okay, sorry. Don't worry, you've never played this before. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, objectives. So let me see if I can zoom that in a little bit. All right, so objectives. Reach the objectives in this order to win the game. Gather all you need for your punitive trap. Take all the objectives. Some of them hide nice surprises. Two, reach the inner city. Reach the exit zone with all survivors. Any survivor may escape through the zone at the end of his turn as long as there's no zombies in it. Okay. We have special rules for setup. You put the blue and green objectives randomly among the reds face down, and then we'll lay them out. We'll still do that. We'll do that on camera for you. Uh, dirty lethal secrets. Each objective gives five experience points to the survivor who takes it. Taking either the blue or green objective also grants a random vault artifact out of the five we have for Black Plague. I could have grabbed all the green horde stuff and jammed it all together, but all we did was jam the stuff from Wolfsburg expansion and the Black Plague, I believe. And there's some Kickstarter stuff in there for sure. Uh, so you may see some characters, weapons and stuff. I think the characters I did pull from uh, green horde. We may have some from green horde in here and from Kickstarter stretch goal stuff from Green Horde, uh, but the scenarios and, and stuff are obviously from the Wolfsburg, and I try to keep it mainly Black Plague for the item decks with Wolfsburg, and obviously the zombie decks too. That was a question Faulty Joe says, is this part of Black Plague? Yeah, yes. so Wolfsburg was an expansion for Black Plague. It was made with it uh, in releasing the Kickstarter, came out at retail later, uh, just as Wolves. As a wolf abomination who also moves or gets three activations or whatever, just like the wolf, the basic wolves do. Uh, the they're called what are they called? Zombie wolves, and you, then wolf abomination. You know what is funny that I didn't get out any zombies. Yeah, you got the container that you should oh. have nearby. Okay, you just they're grab all them in there. For, yeah, that's okay. The way you just keep them nearby so you can pull them all out. Okay, then I do have them. Okay. Yeah, I need to put it on the table. Well, there. if it's on camera, I'll put it down there. Just move that stuff and bring. Because you'll need to look in, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the wolf should be in there too, and then the wolf abomination okay. should be in there. Yeah, pull it down. Too. Yeah, yeah, I will. Well, I need to make sure, or otherwise we have to go grab. Yeah, so there's a wolf okay. abomination. So we'll bring him out, put him out somewhere, uh, so he looks all cool. Here, we'll switch to the uh, overhead view, just throw him, throw him somewhere, threatening us. So wolf abomination, like a regular abomination, he hits you. You can't roll armor against it. He does three damage. Um, no, he does. Yeah, he does. Three damage. Yeah. Three damage, three actions, and it gives you five experience points when you destroy it. Okay, Kyle. <laughs> and sorry, Kyle. I'm so sorry. Uh, you showed up too late to the <laughs> Skype call to play with us remotely. No, I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, so we're playing Zombicide without Kyle, which Kyle usually would join us on a weeknight and play. But thanks to uh, some people in China deciding they want to eat uh, mongooses hey and bats and stuff uh, <laughs> and, and not follow food safety rules, uh, we now are locked in and we can't play with him. Kyle, if you want, you can pick a character and tell us what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kyle, you are now controlling Rocco. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> oh, thought we thought we would play without him noticing. Oh. Who who sent him the notification? <laughs> uh, so where let's are see. we here? And so Jot's totally not in the target group for this simple as that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's not for everyone. Yeah, this is good for, for our group for sure. Like, Kyle loves this game. Like, it's just, it's for people just, like, exciting. Like, you roll some dice or you're drawn from a big deck of cards and you randomly find stuff that helps mitigate rolls and that kind of thing. But it's just, like, beer and pretzel kind of game. Popcorn and whatever you want to call it. Whatever you're... Dice chucker. Dice, yeah, it's a dice chucker. A roll and move. Not a roll and move, but a... <laughs> Uh, what am I thinking? Uh, dudes on a map is the word uh, yeah. that they like to say. Yeah. It's just a like dudes on a map game, kind of run around and just, it fits the theme well. Like it follows the IPs well of like any of those kind of zombie movies or shows, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's not as hardcore as some of the other games we play, but it's okay. You can make up for it later. <laughs> <laughs> when when you get out, Kyle, you're gonna come over for like a week straight uh, and sleep over. You tell your family <laughs> you're just gonna disappear for a while. You just need to get away. And we'll just play through like every single Zombicide mission we own from, from modern all the way through. We'll just play it every day. Just for Sajat because he loves this game. Uh, <laughs> did you see the message here from Michael? Michael's here. Uh, greetings from the Philippines. Mike and Kay. We just found out about your channel last week when we watched your Aeon's End TNA playthrough. Awesome. Wow, thank welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Thank you for joining us. 
Shannon's here. Hi, Shannon. It's been a while. Shannon, yes. Greeting humans. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we are? I don't know. Uh, greetings all Zombicide is one of my favorites. Hey, yes. Static. Yeah, we one know a lot of people still. watched our Zombicide videos back in the day. Like, that was mm -hmm. one of our first things that people, like, watched on our channel pretty regularly was had decent review results were, like, original Zombicide. I feel like it was, like, our first playthrough where we started it, right? Because it was Where we were before. doing campaign. Yeah. Like, it's not campaigns. No. I wish they added that in Zombicide before 2.0, like, 10 years later. But uh, we would play through each mission. Uh, but we were doing random stuff at the beginning. This was the first one, Black Plague. Uh, the Black Plague one where we started going, all right, one let's play one. through one by one and, mm. and go through the whole thing. We obviously didn't get through it on video, but we have played all the missions off camera. I know we played the last two, uh, but just never end up filming them or posting them or the footage was bad or something. I don't remember why, but... Well, once Kyle can come back over, we'll do Yeah, that. once Kyle comes back, we'll get it back going. <laughs> so, Wolfsburg this time. Uh, all right, so simple mission. Mm -hmm. We start. Let's check where we start. Uh, boom. Uh, so, oh. we start... Down at the bottom here, out in the street. Uh, so we got little base colors matching our pegs, right? You did all that. Mm -hmm. uh, so who are playing with? Let's let's go over some abilities and stuff. Uh, so I'm playing with Doran. This guy's from, I believe, the Friends and Foes expansion. Uh, they all have these like little symbols on them, which mean they're from certain boxes. But there is so many different expansions and and artist boxes and you know guest sculptor boxes and all this crazy stuff for this game uh but this guy doran he can get this uh spell which is thrown in there from we also have i threw in all the stuff from the friends and foes expansion i'm pretty sure all the items in there too so that way this guy can see power blast and hold it here in his body slot uh but i gave him mana blast to start from the starter weapons he has plus one to the die roll for magic so if he uses anything that's magic like this mana blast i believe uh he will get plus one to the results on his dice rolls so for each ro die he rolls for this. So for this one, it's just one die looking for four plus. So if I roll a three, that's plus one to that. He still makes a hit. And the other stuff, when we unlock it, we'll talk about what it is specifically. But uh, that's one of the survivors. When, so we're, we, when we're, we look it up. Yeah, when we look it up. No, well, yeah, it's true. Uh, where's, <laughs> I got them right you here. You got the printout of pages? <laughs> yes. Thanks to awesome people at Game Geek in the file section. If you don't know already, you play Zombicide. Go print out. There's great one-sheeter reference guides. There's great... One to two sided sheets uh, for all for all the skills. So you do not need to grab the rule book. Oh, this one's just one sided, but oh. uh, you can get them all here. So this is for green horde skills. So instead of flipping through the book, trying to find them all, or if you're playing with all the stuff mixed together, you don't have to go, oh, which skill is that one in? Is that in the green horde book, the friends and foe book, the Wolf, <laughs> Wolfsburg book, the Black Plague book? Where's that skill? The people are awesome on there. If you ever buy a board game, I recommend go to the file section on Board Game Geek somebody's made an awesome reference guide or, or a helpful helpful printout or a, a reference sheet. You can even print out little cards for these guys that have all... So if I play Rocco, for example, someone on Board Game Geek, there's a page or a file where I can find his stats all explained in a little card cutout. You can like print the cards to have them beside you and stuff. It's awesome. So Rocco here, uh, I think that means he's from the stretch goal stuff from Green Horde, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's from Black Plague stretch goal stuff. Uh, but he's starting with a short sword, but he also has the ability, his first default ability starts with a crossbow. So he's going to start with the crossbow, we grab that out of the deck. So he's got a ranged weapon, a melee weapon, good to go. Uh, I love ranged stuff in games, you guys know this. Uh, so I had to pick a ranged character. I would have gone all three ranged characters, but what I find happens in this, especially when we're playing two or three player and we each get more than one survivor, uh, we tend to keep our survivors together when we separate. For some reason, I don't know why this is, we never work as a group going, oh, let's keep your character and my character together over here doing this. Uh, and then we'll take my character and like Kyle's character and we'll go over here. Right. No, Kyle will run with his guys together to do something. I'll run with my guys together to do something. And you'll run with your guys together to do something. It's easier. Yes, it's easier to just keep track of your stuff. Yeah. And then you know the other player's not going to screw you when you want to trade <laughs> items and that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's co-op. We're supposed to be working together. But we're each, each playing with three survivors each. Uh, so yeah. So I picked... Kind of like, a, I didn't even look at who she picked. I picked mine separately, actually. And I picked mine first, so I don't know who Yeah, but I didn't look at them first. So I, picked, I wanted a magic guy just to try something different. He was, uh, and we didn't even open the friends or foes before. So I literally opened it and was like, oh, there's four characters in here. I'll take one. Uh, I believe that's where he's from. And then um, Rocco, uh, I wanted someone with range. So I just grabbed him because I didn't recognize his art. So I believe I've never played him before in any of our playthrough videos for Zombicides of any kind. Uh, and then Gregor, Gregor, I don't know where he's from. Uh, maybe the stretch school stuff for Black Plague. Uh, but this guy, just for fun, we're playing with Zombie Wolves. So this guy's got Ironclad Zombie Wolves' as default ability. He's going to start with a short sword. And that ability, 
is I think he doesn't take damage or the first damage or something from zombie wolves, but just refresh my memory. So ironclad, uh, flip the other, other side. side. Uh, so ironclad. The survivor ignores all wounds coming from the zombies, having the indicated keyword in its name, such as walker, runner. Yeah. So he, uh, he ignores all wounds yeah. from the wolves. So we'll see wolves because there are uh, like a handful of wolf cards shuffled in that deck. Eight. Some of them are abominate wolf abomination oh, okay, though. Okay, so we okay. might see regular abomination on the board, which you need to get out, and we might see the wolf on the board at the same time, but oh, only one of each. This nope. Is, nope. This one. Nope. That's, That's a wolf. We have two wolves. I, I don't know. They what am I looking for? Just a regular abomination in the same little little container. Yeah, they're not in the same spot though. Oh. That's okay. I'll find Maybe it. Maybe with the fatties or something. It's all good. You keep talking. There should be. I mean, we could just use that custom abomination, whatever. But I don't know the rules for him. We'll just pretend he's normal. No, no, no. That's fine. He's in here somewhere. If he sticks out on camera, better. That's fine. That's okay. We'll just use this one. So Unless I find it in here. Yeah. We're just going to use this guy. He is a custom one that has his own rules, I'm pretty sure. But we're just going to use this as our regular abomination. Oh, mini. this guy. Or Got him. we'll just use the tiny little abomination that comes with Black Plague, actually, now that Mel found it. So this guy's just normal. Not as cool as the wolf, but... He's hiding. He's uh, he's going to be rocking there. All right. Quick, distract us, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Where Caffeine Gaming there? Club says, do you have the full Kickstarter backer edition? Uh, we backed Black Plague on Kickstarter. Yep. I believe at the time I added Wolfsburg to that. So I should have the stretch goals. But I don't I don't do all in full add on everything. I do like as base as it gets. And usually now, especially with Cool Mini or Not stuff. I prefer to wait for retail and just get the retail box now of Cool Mini or Not stuff. Because what I find is we don't even play through all the missions in the box. The characters that come with are totally fine to play six seven missions before you get bored of the game and move mm -hmm. on or actually not before you're bored of the game before cool mirror you not launches the next kickstarter to distract you and make your old version of the zombicide look like junk um and want to go for that uh so i find they come out so fast they keep pumping out the zombicide stuff that it's like no i, I just go retail um yeah because they'll come out to retail sometimes even before the kickstarter stuff delivers especially with cool mirror not they're bad for that uh, so, but this one, I did back it because it was fantasy, and at the time we were playing Zombicide a ton with people. We had, like, playing with many, many players all the time. Everyone loved it. It was great. Uh, so I got the pledge, uh, with stretch goals and Wolfsburg, I think. That's all. Oh, and I did, like, the plastic doors, the little, the little holders and stuff. Um, plastic tokens. That's yeah. in there. But that was all just, like, stuff I added on to it. I don't remember exactly the pledge level, though, Caffeine. So, um, but yeah. You got, the, you got the whole backer edition from a friend. 40 pounds of extra abominations are very OP. Yeah, that's the other thing I find out uh, I found with this game so far. Uh, and it might have been from Modern I learned that. Was they always add all these extra like big giant abomination miniatures. Uh, big characters and stuff. All these dragons and cool things. They're amazing, I'm sure, for painting. And people love to get them just for the miniatures quality. But then the rules designed around them, it feels like... They spend so much time sculpting miniatures and running a Kickstarter, <laughs> never designing nice rules, uh, changing the rules, and play testing properly. I feel like none of it's ever play tested, so they add in all this cool, like, here's an expansion, here's 85 extra characters with 75 new abilities, and, and all these big abominations, and they all have their own rules, and dragons, and ballistas, and all these crazy things. But then you play them together and you're like, man, this seems like way off. Like it doesn't cl click with the main rules very well. But I do see people make their own custom scenarios and their own house rules on some of this stuff. And I think that's why, because they balance it and they play test it after. But it's too bad that they don't spend enough time just focused on a single uh, Zombicide product. They're too busy like, on to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one. It is play tested. It is designed to be unbalanced. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's a job who doesn't like the game at all. <laughs> <laughs> It is designed to be unbalanced. Oh, man. I always need dragons. Yes, dragon shadow. We always need a dragon. We were going to play with the dragon tonight, actually. I have the feral dragon. Uh, but then I started reading his rules, and I was like, nah, let's just play a regular scenario first before we play this again and mix in the giant dragon and ballistas and all those rules and stuff. So, let's see. So, the friendly fire rule, how that's worked. So, in the modern Zombicide, there was a rule. If you're in a position where there's zombies and you wanna, you're want to, you next to it or wherever, and you want to shoot into the same zone, this guy wants to use a ranged weapon into here, 
you would have to hit your buddies first and you'd keep hitting your buddies until they die then you start hitting zombies in the zone stupidest rule ever people house ruled it we house ruled it when we were playing modern zombicide so what they did in fantasy zombicide is they made it so when you roll any misses you roll on your dice will hit your buddies so you and the rest of the hits will hit priority order uh hitting the target target priority order uh hitting first walkers then like fatties or abominations whatever and then runners and zombie wolves and necromancers so you don't always hit your friend but there's a risk so if you're about to use a weapon that uses five dice and you're rolling and you got a buddy in there yeah you're gonna miss on a few of those dice especially when he's like five plus for the hits or something so maybe don't do that so <laughs> uh yes dragons and wolves together will we will have it we will have it. but yeah i'm worried about the wolves we never played them before so we might we might get wrecked by them here that's my worry uh, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we miss any here? Grat gracious, gratuitous, gratuitous camouflage or camouflage. Sorry if I'm saying it's so wrong. Uh, boxes of plastic with mediocre mechanics stapled under them. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. It's fun if you just look at it as a fun game. But like I've played too many other games that are like moving around a map, fighting bad guys that just have better rule sets and like feel more balanced and. Yeah, just I would personally rather play those, but sometimes I just don't want to play a complicated game. I want a game like this that has like only a handful of rules and I can quickly read through it and just all right, let's go. Like and then just roll dice and smash guys. All right, let's get into it. Enough blabbing. All right. Uh so, we need to We need to figure out who's going. Oh, with uh, the objectives. We need the to put objectives, the objectives on yes. the board. So, those are going to go into uh sort okay. of shuffle them up. So let me just do it. Yes, we did hit the 150 goal on our Patreon. We so we were looking to order gaming chairs today, actually, this <laughs> afternoon. And man, Mel found a gaming chair she wanted this morning. I said, order it. Here you go. Order it later today. She got busy with work, busy during our premiere and stuff. Later I messaged her. I go, hey, did you order that gaming chair? I want to post it on Patreon to let them know. Like, hey, thanks, guys. We ordered one of the gaming chairs and got it going. Uh, and she went to look, and it was already sold out. They had seven left this morning, and by the end of the day, man, this this COVID God. stuff, everyone wants gaming chairs, I guess. So, yes, thank you, everyone, for, for backing us on Patreon. We got a couple new ones this week uh, that made us reach that goal. So I was going to post about it once we actually ordered the gaming chairs. I ordered mine. Yep. Seems like it's okay, but hasn't shipped. It's got, like, a weird shipping estimate on it, so I, I don't know if it's going to... If it's going to come in time or if the st it's going to have what I worry with that one. Uh, I actually ordered it a week ago because I saw one I wanted and we were getting close to the goal. So I thought, all right, I want to order that one before it's gone. Uh, but now it's sitting there like supposed to arrive Saturday, but it's, but it's like, in this, like limbo where it's, it's not in a limbo. And what I, yeah, what I feel is going to happen is going to go Amazon's going to go, whoops, due to a stock error, this item is not going to be shipped to you and you're sorry. So we'll, we'll see. see. It may be a while before we actually get these gaming chairs thanks to all the yeah. delays and the. Chinese factory shut down and stock being bought up by everyone working from home and stuff. So, well, you guys are so awesome. Yes, Thanks thank so you. Much. Thank That's you so awesome. much for that. So now we have to figure out. Do we already have our next goal on there? Mm. Uh, there is a goal for like a twenty-four hour live stream on there. Oh, which cannot um, happen until after COVID, I think, right? Because we would want other people to join. I don't think we'll hit that anytime soon, but okay. I will add some other goals in there. I'll figure some other stuff out, but that's I just put that one in there. I had other ones in there to get to Origins, to get to Gen Con. But then I deleted them because I don't think those are going to happen. <laughs> uh, so maybe I'll add some later for like PAX Unplugged or Origins in the Fall or something uh, that we can go for that. But I think we're okay. We figured out another way to get funding and help us with that. So yeah. we should be okay. All right. Uh, okay. So I've shuffled these a whole bunch while you were talking there. Okay. 24 hours to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would... Uh... A lot of the games we would play on that 24-hour stream would be more in the realm of Sagrada, being a little lighter, uh, especially in the later hours of that 24 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, there may be some party games mixed in there, but I'd love to do that 24-hour stream when we have like people that can come play with us. Right. Having different people come over for hours on end and people leave and other people show up and stuff like that. That would be super fun. Yeah. That's, I mean, we that's could, what we've done it before. We could do it just you and I because we did say we were both going to stay up for the whole thing, but... Yeah, we could do that, but, could, I, but I'm worried people just, just get bored and we're just like, just like falling asleep <laughs> on each other. Like, we're like, wake up! Uh, what? What? Yeah. What's happening? So... <laughs> oh, we'll be able to order the USB mic and initial delivery date was June. Then it has twice updated announcing a schedule for next week. Yeah, it's oh, like yeah, all over it's the like place. A mess, yeah, right? it's all over the place. So I don't know. We'll see. Robin we'll Malcon. See. 
Rob Melcon, yeah. I don't know if you want to. We, we go could to do that. that. We could, well, if everyone's <laughs> locked down, and but hopefully stuff gets going eventually. We'll see. All right. So did you put all our things out? No. Just slap uh, them out. So I'll look down here? down here in this room. Oh, they're all right here. Yeah, they're all near us. This is like easy mission, it said. So we just gotta bust open these doors. Hope there's not too much spawning in those rooms, and get in there and get our stuff and okay. get awesome things and rush out. That's all. Super easy. We'll be done in like ten minutes. Or die horribly in like two hours. Die trying? Yeah, we'll see. All right. Okay. So first player token here. Uh, let's just roll off and roll a couple dice each and see who's going first. And then you can pick whichever order you want for your zombies to go, is my understanding. I rolled an 11, so I think I'm all right. Yep. Yeah. Because I rolled eight. All right. So, so. thank you. Mm -hmm. So my first player, little little gold Kickstarter metal coin thing they give you there for that. Probably says something on there. Yeah. All right. So feel free to let us know what you want us to do, what yeah, yeah. you think we should go this in, all that. This is all we'll chill, do, have yeah. fun. It's great. Yep. It's all good times. Okay. So I got to figure out colors and what my guys are doing here. Uh, turquoise, green, and yellow. Oh, so I'm, I'm these three, and you're those three. Okay. If that's helpful. So... Who has things that can open doors? Uh, two of my guys do. Uh, one, two. Yep, two of my guys rolling. do. Okay. So I figured I'd start back here. So I'm going to take... Uh, so the objective is just collect all these objectives and get out, which is I, all the yeah, way at that end? Yeah, I'm pretty okay. sure that's as simple as that. Kill zombies, yep. Yep, take all the objectives. Some of them hide nice surprises. So And then, yeah, reach the exit zone with all survivors. That's it. Okay. And they even give us a couple volt weapons, so if it gets out of control. So the way to get out here is we're going to go through this, through this thing, and then through there, and around there, and out here. Mm -hmm. So we actually have to go through a building, and I noticed they put doors in between going through this building. Yeah, they're kind of like... So blocking. as we level up past blue, then into yellow and orange, uh -huh. if we don't open these doors all... Quick? quick well, at least these two. Because if we open this while we're still in the blue, that's great. Not as bad. But if we are, say, then have to kill a bunch of zombies, then we're at yellow and we're opening this door, all these little rooms in here are going to get filled with worse amount of zombies. So this is going to get a little rough. But at least these buildings are all smaller amount of rooms. or are only two each. Yeah, so we'll only have a bad. small amount spawn. But if the same characters are doing all the killing and we get up to the yellow quick, going through this, this, this building is yeah, going to be a little rough. Here. Uh, so Michael has a good point. We didn't say anything about my guys. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Got We're distracted just... with chat. I was... <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So I have William. So he has tough, which ignores the first point of damage that would be inflicted from a friendly fire or from a wound. Each round? Each. Or each, each what? Each, each action? Each... each action, I would assume. So Let me sure? just double check exactly the wording yep. on it. Um, Go to our awesome reference sheets. The survivor ignores the first wound they receive from a single zombie every zombie face. Yeah, so, so nothing with friendly fire. Uh, but I thought I read that in the other book. Check the other page. It's probably in, in the other one too. Maybe I'm crazy, but... Yeah, you're okay, probably a no, cheater. You probably, probably cheat crazy. all the time. I thought I read something about I trusted about you that. and no. you, just, you just stopped. Man, I'm going back to the old videos where you <laughs> use that wrong and I'm commenting on it. And I rip on you. Okay, and then I'm playing with Nellie. I like her. Uh, she's very flexible, so she has just one free move action in blue, which is good. Moving around a little bit more. And then I am playing with Samson. Samson has iron hide for his blue action, which is uh, like he's wearing armor. So I get an armor roll of five plus. And when he is wearing armor, it gives him a plus one to the armor roll. You want to read that? Double check that too? Yeah, if you could, uh, <laughs> we could double check with our reference sheet. I want, I want to make sure. Uh, the survivor can make an armor roll with a 5 plus armor value, even when they are not wearing armor on their body slot. Wow. When wearing armor, the survivor adds 1 to the result of each dice result of each dice roll for armor rolls. The maximum result is always 6. Awesome. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, Caffeine says, have you looked at Frosthaven and would you be getting it? Uh, yeah, we looked, backed it day one, did a stream for it before it went live, all hyped about it and looking over the, the Kickstarter. Yeah, we backed it. Don't worry. We'll have full playthrough of that coming up next year when it arrives. <laughs> uh, just like we did Gloomhaven, played through like 40 something episodes. We're going to be doing that again for sure. 
Uh, we'll probably do more episodes of that one, I assume. Uh, so we'll see. Origami Artist is back. I don't want to hear a damn thing <laughs> about not playing Modern Zombicide. Their Patreon backers voted between Modern, Fantasy, and Space. And we they picked Fantasy, so we're playing Wolfsburg. So I don't want to hear your complaints. <laughs> At least we got some Zombicide on the channel for you. Uh, again. <laughs> Bring Print games. You ever been sitting on the toilet wondering how many butt cheeks I've sat on this toilet? I think we've had that comment You before. said that last time. Is this a, is it a bot that keeps I have no that? idea. I think it's a bot. I've seen that once before. Brin games. Anyways. All it's right. okay. Uh, oh, Caffeine says they watch uh, they watch all of our Gloomhaven stuff, and that's how they oh, learned how to play Oh, awesome. It. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So. I mean, we weren't pros, so no, I don't know I, yeah, that was that you back should take in the rules day. from us, but yeah, yeah, yeah. we but, took, I remember we took the uh, tests. The mo yeah. movements, monster We, we movements. got better as we went through that series, as you know, but like at the <laughs> beginning when there was not much online about that game, we were like a little lost because we are pretty early at it. And then yeah. now there's like tons of stuff out there. There's helper apps and everything. Um, but yeah. No, yeah. Never mind. All right. Okay. And then you are first whenever you're right. ready. So let's do this. Uh, I want this guy to go, Gregor. So you're thinking that we need to open kind of as many doors as possible, as fast as possible? Yeah. Let's get some items. One, two. No one can do the movement. Yeah, you're right, Dragon. No one can. <laughs> so, uh, two spots. And then he's going to try to get a door open here. Uh, so, I have to roll a one die, looking for four or higher. And I get a two. So, he drops some noise and uh, misses on the door opening. So, in that case, Rocco's going to come on over. Uh, he's my teal guy here. He's going to do the same two moves. And he's going to try a short sword uh, to open the roll. Six. Origami Artist 3.0. Hello again. I guess you didn't hear what I said about harassing us about playing modern. We're playing, uh, we're playing uh, fantasy. All right. So I got it. You got it. So boom. Door is busted open. Plastic door. Clicky, clicky. Look at the detail on that. That's all. Good. I know they're sick. Yeah. And they're like all different, yeah. uh, all different styles. That's why I had to add them. Well, yeah, they're different shapes, and then like, like you get the yeah, you get doors. the round doors, you get the color doors. Way okay. better than flipping cardboard little tokens. Love it. <laughs> uh, let's do zombie spawns. So everyone's in blue. So oh, right off the bat, whoa! Whoa, the wolves Sorry. scared you so much you <laughs> dropped get the card. Oh no! Two wolves in the first room, which is awesome. Very bad. In next very, room, very bad. We are gonna get. A necromancer. That's so bad. Yep, this is terrible. This is very, very bad. Our playthrough's gonna be tanked here. This is great. But there's still four more characters that need to go, so maybe they can come in and help us with uh, with some of this. Okay, so necromancer's gonna go in here. We are gonna get, where did I put those? Right here. I'm gonna necromancer spawn, and then we are gonna draw another card. And we are going to get one walker. What are your thoughts now? Uh, we're <laughs> should we start over? No, no. <laughs> we should all just come in this spot so we can share wounds and like, and you guys can maybe kill some of this stuff. Yeah. Because remember, these guys are only going to move one space. These, uh, the necromancer down here and the uh, walker are only going to move one space. And we need to get him because he's just going to go to this spawn here and then get out. Oh, yes. So we need to get him. Well, yeah. But okay. this round, we don't shouldn't have to worry about moving. But then again, if we draw another Necromancer card, he will activate again. He could leave this this time. Like, he could leave on this next zombie activation. He could. So uh, next, I will take my other character. Uh, he's going to move two. And he's going to use the Mana Blast. Looking at one die, four plus, trying to hit one of these wolves. And But I get plus one to my dice roll on magic. So, that's so that is a four. Yes. And was that noisy, <sighs> that blast? Uh, yes, because right. he has to yell the spell like this. Mana blast. <laughs> Hadouken. <laughs> all right. So uh, you're go. Okay. That's all my three characters. Uh, so, okay. Let's use Nelly first because she has a bow. So she's orange. So one, two. 
and then I will try to shoot one space in, roll one die, and I hit on three plus. Got it. So wolves are dead. Boom. Are you, Just are like you, that. And that was, <laughs> that was silent. She's done. Uh, let's do... William is ready. So who can take a hit? William. So he could go in here and distract those guys. Yeah, he's going to do but one. He's going to take a hit for sure because there's two guys that are going to hit him. And if the next Well, if I take if I take there William, are, remember there are cards in there that have extra activations. Yeah. Um William and Samson. Samson can roll. He's got to roll a 5 plus. Oh, Nelly has free move. You know this? Oh, yes, I do know this. But I don't know that I want her to go in there is my is my thing unless I move back. Has she done anything yet? Yeah, she killed the wolf. One, two, and killed. Oh, okay. But the only thing I would do with her is move back you to this. Uh, I don't know. I don't want her to move in. I don't think that's a smart idea. She could just move to, like, back to here at least. Yeah, so I guess she I could just. So she can get to the next room. Yeah. Okay. I thought that. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. Okay. That works. Then William's going to go in for sure because he has tough. So he's going to ignore at least one of the hits. One, two, three. And I'm thinking of doing the same with Samson because he has the iron hide. So he could do an armor roll for the other hit. That's true. They could eat some of the damage yeah. and prevent He's them from leaving. He's got to roll a five plus, but I mean, he could take one. Yeah. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Or, or gaming artist, like, uh, yeah, I, I see you there. Just, uh, yeah. Oh, man. All right. Okay. So that is me. That's our phase. Yep, Zombies. we're done. So where do we want? We want to kind of go in a, like up, top, down, and around? Uh, is that fine for you? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do that. So first one is no one. So second one. There's a discard pile there. Yeah, I know. I just oh, do okay. them all in case I have to look at them. Oh, okay. So then one, one walker. walker in case I make a mistake, and then I put them all in. Double spawn. Uh, yes, we should be getting XP for those kills. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. sorry no, you're distracted. right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. Duh, duh, duh. Yes. One experience for the regular guys, even fatties. Five experience for abominations. Yep. Okay. Only one experience for wolves. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the wolf abomination so the five also. Okay, so this third one here was a double spawn, so we're doing two spawn zones up there. Oh, so we don't spawn here. That is no, great. But we're going to get yeah, a... Yeah, yeah, two cards. Oh, three, three wolves. wolves and a runner. runner. Oh, oh, oh. So three Spicy. wolves. Three wolves and a runner. <laughs> yeah, that double spawn card is the only thing I don't really like about... Uh... Oh, yeah, we have white bases on the bottom of our runners, so yeah. we can tell them apart from the pack, but... That's why I like to leave them all out until, in case I make a mistake with all those of where yep. things yep, are yep, spawning, yep. and then I'll put them put them away. Okay. So end of thing. That's all they're doing, right? Yep. The, oh, these, these guys. guys oh move. my gosh. Sorry, I'm, I was distracted by the other things. We're so out of out of yeah. No. Okay. We do move dragon. Yes, we're we're getting back into yep, it. Yeah, we're good. Thank now. you so much though for catching <laughs> us on this stuff. It's gonna take a couple rounds to get back into Zombicide. Like I said, it's been a couple years for so, fantasy. It's been a year for regular our <laughs> invader. Right. So this one's gonna come. He's just gonna try to attack this guy. Oh no, he doesn't even attack. They just move. Well, because they attack if there's someone there, then they move. But I was worried that we're gonna get oh get another activation. uh, extra activations or another necromancer card for an extra activation. Yeah. Which we got lucky on that. Also, we didn't get. Yeah. But I thought for sure we'd get at least one of these guys doing something else. Yeah. Okay, we're back in it now. Okay, so now do you? Pass so we clean up noise. Pass first player token. Okay. So I can pick him up. Uh, Rob, did you get English rules in your Zombicide, or did you get one of those sets with French rules? I, I got English rules. I don't think I got fresh rules, French rules. Also, I have English rules for sure. I got with it. You're right. Dragon is also right. There's a spawn in here that we just put that I, my brain wasn't even seeing. So ah! for that one, we have two. That's walkers. it. Stream's over. We're done. <laughs> okay. No, no, we're good now. We're good now. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we had to move them before we did that anyways. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Okay. Whew. But then, yeah. So All we'll do good. this one last always then, because then that would have made a difference yeah. for double spawning well, and all that Yeah, likely we're going to get rid of it hopefully in this uh, round. Sure. So hopefully. 
Sure. Yep. Yes. Yeah, he the, wants to see zombies. He wants to see us die. <laughs> bring on the death. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to start with uh, melee. I can choose who I'm attacking. Correct. I'm going to use Samson first. Purple. He is going to swing his hammer. One one die four plus, and I'm going to swing against the necromancer. Okay, I'm looking for four plus, and I got six. Boom! Dead. Ne Necromancer's dead. So I will get <laughs> one. One experience. We'll remove this one, I assume. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I guess we could leave that one. It's true, but it would light a fire behind us of like more zombies would start coming from behind, which is, is fine. Because then we'd get rid of like maybe one of these in front of us to help us get by there, but we might regret it right now. Right. Because Likely we're will. hanging out down here and we still got to go through other doors and stuff. So. Yeah, and this is going to be a huge problem too. Sure. Uh, is this one okay? Yeah, you sure. think? Yep, okay. Yep. Whatever you want. So okay. class asks, hey Rob, how do you get your wife to play such games with you? Actually, in this situation, she is getting me to play this game with her. <laughs> she loves this game. This is her jam. Uh, I prefer the fantasy version, so this is like kind of my Zombicide I like to play. Uh, but she just loves Zombicide in general. So I'm playing this because she likes to play it. Uh, yeah, so I'm playing with her in this case. Um, but, but there's not really many games I don't like to play. That is true. Some of the war style games like that memoir 44 game thing. Yeah, because the theme, right? Yeah, I'm just like not a huge fan. I have to try it again, though. That's the only one I can think of that I'm like, ah. Uh. Yeah, but she liked board games in general. I just showed her good board games. <laughs> so, yeah, when I found out about modern board games, I said, hey, you got to check this out. And she played Game of Thrones board game and got into it. She gets very competitive. So uh, theme helps. So if she's into the theme or knows something about the theme... It's easy to connect that to mechanics, and she'll just play it, and, and yeah. That was, I think, how it started, but now that i played so many games, now I can just, I can ignore the theme more so. Sometimes, yeah. If you if it doesn't click with you, you, yeah. just, you just know mechanics and yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, and if I like the style of the game. Okay. But find theme. You want to get your wife to play a game with you? Find the theme that, that will, will pull her in and have some fun and mm -hmm. let her win if it's competitive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think also if you're playing with your wife, play some co-op games first to start. Co-op. So like co-op. Yeah, work together. She's not be beating you. Yep, be a team. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. So that was one action. He's going to swing his hammer again against this zombie here. I got the experience. Roll to three. That is not enough. I have one more action, so I'll do it one more time. Four. Got him. Take the street on. You are on out. Take the street you were on out. Oh, this one would probably have been better to remove, actually. Oh, do you want to yes. do that? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. So yeah we're we'll... in that spot, right? It makes sense. Yeah, okay, yeah. so we'll flip that one. We'll keep that yeah, one. makes sense. So now we can still keep it like yeah, this. Yeah, because this one makes it a little further from us, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes... I didn't even look at this one. I totally glanced over. That was there. I was just... Because we don't usually go in spots with zombie spawns. We try to avoid that, too. Yeah. Subliminal programming at night also helps. <laughs> Uh, class, but let me tell you in this situation how it happened. I was heavily into video games, and I played some board games in the past, a very long time ago, but mm -hmm. I was heavy into gaming. Very I've been heavy. a gamer since I was like a baby. <laughs> I've been heavy into gaming, love gaming in general, and I love competitive gaming too. And when I met her, and I said, hey, I'm going to be playing video games. I love video games. I'm going to be reading about video games. I'm going to be watching videos about video games. I'm going to be streaming video games. I'm going to be buying video games. I'm going to be playing games with my friends. I'm going to be playing games with people online. I'll play games with you if you want. But if you have a problem with that, go find somebody else. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. And she went, no, I'm cool with that. And I went, all right, we'll see. We'll see. Years passed. Then I was like, okay. She was even playing some of those video games. I was like, all right, all right. She's not giving me crap about it. She's not giving crap about going to conventions. She's not giving me crap about going to buddy's house to play. She's very cool about it. So then that's why I had to marry her. So what what you do, and, and I have a child with her also. So find somebody who's not going to be a jerk about your hobbies. That's if you can avoid it. That's what I recommend too. Well, I just figured there's way worse hobbies. That is, is exactly way it. Way worse yep, hobbies. There's worse things I could be doing. That's yeah. for sure. Like so. playing board games in the back of a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, <laughs> while doing drugs. Oh my God. <laughs> Whatever your hobbies are, no judgment. Yep. <laughs> Wearing bondage, playing board games. <laughs> these, all these words are going to get this video flagged on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. 
The algorithm is going to catch us. <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> <laughs> and there went the YouTube rating. Oh, this no. is a family show. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We didn't swear. Hopefully their kids don't understand some of those words if they're sitting in the background. I'm sorry. <laughs> that went, down that went downhill fast. It did. It did. And the stream's officially over. All right. It's like you guys know my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's too funny. All right. I'm sweating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we won't say that out loud. But if you're reading the chat, you can see it. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Samson is done. This guy. Are we just going to leave these two lonely walkers to come out? Yeah, they'll eventually catch yeah, up to can... us. And range guys can fire back. Oh, as long but as they don't actually... get a couple activations. Don't go in that spot. Pick up this thing and get out. Yeah, but this guy's going to be stuck there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Why? He has no move? No, because I rolled three times. Okay. Does anyone have range to step in and shoot those guys then? Uh, Her, but no. I fine. can. It doesn't matter, because uh, they're only going to come to him, and then he can roll rolling. Oh, I have a two range. Oh, yeah, but I can't see through into the next room. I have to get in the no, next room. No, that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to pick up using uh, William Red. I'm going to pick up this objective, and it yeah, is blue. Yeah, random yes. bolt weapon. So, uh, Let me shuffle them for you, and you can pick one. I'm just going to get five experience for the objective. Oops. Let's put that there so we can see we got one. Let's do this one. We got... What would you get? An orcish bow. Ah, that's the one I wanted. All right, but I can use this right off because it's blue. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's great. Wow. So let's just, again, We're going to rock at... this scenario now. No. Whoa, so I can what are you use talking it... about? You got three range, two dice, three plus, 50-50 shot? Yeah. No, it's three plus. It's even better. Yeah, three plus. Why do I... Yes, I always say 50-50 on that. I don't know why it's four plus is 50-50, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's wrong. Uh, but yes, one damage at least, so you can kill wolves and runners and walkers, like, no problem. Interesting now. I almost want to shoot once with it. That's what I was saying. I think I'm going to do that. Pick it up and find what you get. So I'm going to roll two yeah, die. Yeah, you can wipe them out right now. Three plus mm -hmm. on these guys. That's what I just said. I know, I'm just... I got one. Boom. There you go. Actually, it's good I only got one because now I'm still in blue. Oh, man, yeah. Uh, so that was pick up, shoot, and I guess we'll move out here for three. And then Nellie. Nellie's going to open a door. What door? This one? This one. So. I just got to watch out because one, yeah. two, three, which just moves into you, not attacking. But if we see another wolf card. No, I don't think there is one that has wolves that have extra activation. No? Unless we run out of wolves. That's the only thing that will make them extra activations. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So let's do... But we can do the same thing where other people can go with you and... Yeah, because none of your guys have gone yet either, so... Nope. So let's move for free. That's her free move action. Then I will attempt to open the door. So I roll... Oh, I can't. She can't open a door. <laughs> Dang it. I switched that last minute for the bow. Well, uh, can she stand over here and shoot them? What's the bow? One? One. Yes. Nope. One, two, free move, fire. Nope. She's going to get eaten alive there. Okay, yeah, let's herself. do then. Can move her somewhere else to get more in position. No, like let's just do. What? Why are you going backwards? I just figured I'd take this guy and then. Oh, if you can take him out now, right now, right? Yeah, go ahead. Because yep, if yep, I yep. move for free, that's free. That's one. Yep. I can shoot. Yep, yep, yep. That works. Three plus. Got it. Boom. One experience. One experience. And then I'll move back out for three. Very nice. Move for free. Move in. Shoot. Move Very out. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, let's see here. Nobody to kill there. Two range. So this guy is teal. One, two, three. Nothing to fire. Uh, okay. But you have somebody that can open the door, right? Yeah. Let's go with... Uh, did anyone drop noise or anything after anything they did? No, right? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Uh, so let's go with Gregor. We're going to try to open the door. One die. Looking for a four plus. Three. Miss. Don't, doesn't he have the plus? Oh, not for this. No. That's the other guy. Ironclad zombie wolves. Uh, okay. So then this guy. One, 
two, no, he'll just go one here, and then green is gonna just go one here also. Okay, done. Done. Now they move? Yep. Okay, uh, one, two. Well, one, two, three. Yeah, yep, that is closer than going around this way. Most noise is what, right here? Yep. Or here? Well, yeah, so, here's the closest. Yeah, this would be shorter. Yeah, that's shorter. That's shorter. Okay. Okay, so these guys are on the spot. Yeah, we'll have to take care of that for sure. Yep. Okay. Hopefully no, none of them go. Uh, this guy doesn't move. I didn't even see him behind yep. this door. Okay. Okay. Where did he come from? Oh, from Chat this. Chat needs a voice function on their end. Doug Nelly says, should have searched. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have searched before I moved up, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, just draw a search card. Go. Well, then I would be here go. instead. Yeah, bell to ring. Ding, ding, ding. Look up. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know. Okay. So she searched before she left. Oh, sorry. I did not. Maybe I'm the What is it. happening? Yeah, you got to put more hand in the picture. Oh, okay. uh, Bastard sword. Okay, so now she has a... Two both. dice, four plus, two damage. Yeah, that's a, that's a beefy weapon. Okay, so then she ended up staying there because she didn't use the move out. She searched instead. Okay, thanks so much. Sorry. Um, so we're going again. Now we'll do... I know we messed this up the first time, but we'll do one, two, three, four. Okay. Is that fine with you? Yeah, whatever you said. Okay, so that one. It's the same. We got to do the same every time, though. That's the thing. Yep. Fatty. Let's see. Burr. Walker. Walker. You, you can just do them. We oh, okay. Hold up every time. Oh, okay. It's going to take forever. Uh, fatty. Right here, right? This yep. is the clockwise? Yep. Fatty. Uh, yeah. And no one. Sweet. So fatties are here, and you have a two damage weapon. I have a two damage crossbow. Anyone else have two damage? Uh, Just this that. the hammer. Oh, and the hammer. Okay, three people. Oh, and he's right fatties. here. So that's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm first. Noise tokens picked up, right? There was none yet. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Uh, so first things first. Dragon calls the bastard sword the fatty killer. Fatty <laughs> killer, yes. <laughs> Ralph needs to finish paintings yeah. outside. Everyone needs to finish painting something nowadays. It's like everyone's bought so many miniature board games. It's like, and yeah. the time painting is just, but it's like forever. It takes forever. Just finished their invader box. Painting. Ooh. Nice. I'll send you my address so you can send me your full painted invader set. I would love to play with that. <laughs> Rob is so lucky to have a wife like Mel. Yes, awesome. I agree. I agree, Doug. You are correct. You are correct. But like I said, you got you to gotta find them and pick them. You got to be very strict. On your, on your priority order. They have to pass a test. Don't just go... First one that comes in the door, don't don't just don't just put a ring on it. You gotta, gotta be picky. Gotta be picky. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so, let's see. I don't know that I had this kind of criteria for you. <laughs> That's true. Mel was obviously not as picky, as you can see. Because if I gave most women those demands, saying, like, you better be into gaming, you better let me game, you better game with me, or, well, I didn't care if she game with me. No, you But didn't. as long as she didn't stop me and try to change me from what I did in my hobbies, that's, yeah, just, I was, that's all I needed. But some women would be like, oh, yeah? Oh, that's the way you want to say it? Bing! See ya, I'm out. <laughs> Screw you. I also have three brothers, younger, so I grew up with people playing video games around me all the ah, time. Ah, true, true. Right? It didn't bother me. John says, hi, Rob Mel. It's always great watching you play. Of the Zombicides, this is the only one I have. I've played the original, but this is better by far. Mm. Agreed. This is my favorite. Yeah. This but Invader is very good. Invader is like yes. just a little more refined. I feel they fix a lot of stuff. And overall, I like the rule set for Invader the best. I love the fantasy theme the best, though. But I do like the whole uh, indoor outdoor thing with that. The yes, oxygen. The oxygen is fun. The remote controlled guns. The the whole uh, the way the abomination works and leaves those like. Um, uh, the bot. I don't know what they're called. The um, things behind, like the black the, stuff on the, the board. The tar or the bile. No, or, no, no. I don't remember what it's called, but yeah. I totally forget, but. Yeah. yeah. That's a tight zombie side invader is a tight package. That's for sure. Uh, okay, so we're gonna use Gregor, okay. and he's gonna try to fight some zombie wolves here. Uh, he's looking for four plus. Oh, he doesn't get damaged by them. Mm, okay. That's good. So you're going to do it again. And miss. And do it one more. And miss. Wow. Whoa. So Gregor's done and can't hit a thing. So, uh, I think we can just kill Gregor at this point. Because he is useless. Mold, it's called mold. Mold, yes. that's it. Thank you. 
<laughs> I knew somebody would say it. <laughs> it's like, I was like trying here? to think what it was. Uh, so I think I just got to go melee on these guys. I don't want to hit Gregor really. I'll, I'll c come in with Nelly and the Bastard Sword as well. So, and William can come in with his sword. So I mean, True. we'll try our best. Oh wait, I moved your guy. I moved your guy last time, not my guy. Oh no yep. problem. So your guys should be there, I think. So, yeah, I could just not care about Gregor and use a real weapon. But if I miss on 4+, plus, it hits him. All right, so I'll just move in, play it safe. One, and he's going to get two actions with a short sword. Miss. And hit. So one wolf. Gregor gets a point. Or Rocco. Rocco gets a point, sorry. And then I have Doran left, but again, he is uh, has a Mana Blast, which is range. So that will hit these guys if he misses. So he can't really do much. Uh, actually, he'll move in. And then he'll fire on this runner. Yes. Forgot that was a thing. I should have done that with the other guy. Four plus. Got, Got it. it. Boom. And that's noisy, right? If uh, I remember yes. yes, yes, yes. Mana Blast is noise. The other two were not. This is like in this space here. Okay. okay. So two wolves left in the space with us there. And if they get to attack, they're going to do three damage total. So we'll have to eat, between my three guys, I'll have to eat three hits uh, twice. Six hits total. Six hits total. So we need to kill them. Very right. important. You're done yours. Your guys are uh -huh. good. Okay. So William Red is going to do one, two... And he is going to swing the short sword once. Uh, I don't want to use that on... I would use it because you can use it as a melee weapon also. That's what the first line of stats are. Oh, and I can roll two Anything guys. that says zero and does not have any range to it. Why is it doing that again? I don't know what is with this Patreon, but it was doing this the other day where Sam's been a Patreon for a while and, and it, it, the notification starts, like it might show other ones randomly right now. I was in the middle of streaming and just started showing all of them. Like, Patreons from, like, oh. weeks ago just started popping up out of nowhere. Oh, okay. Well, but thank you, Sam. If you're a different Sam Butler than our other Sam Butler who's a Patreon. I guess you can check. Thank no? you. It's not going to be. I saw it do the other day. Oh, okay. So that whole that whole thing, it didn't work for a while. Now it's working, but it's, like, random. Oh. Very weird. That is But anyways, weird. continue on. Sorry. Okay. So I will use... Oh, my yellow is immune to wolves. That's correct. Yes, yes, yes. But no, can... Look. Oh. This is maybe Sam edited thing. his pledge. Oh. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. If you're watching especially, thank you. If you're not watching, only slightly thank you. No, I'm just <laughs> um, but thank you so much. Thank awesome. you. Maybe that was what was happening Yes. On okay, screen. so it is working. No. No, the other day, literally, Mel, it was going <laughs> off, like, it, 15 notifications in a row, just out of nowhere. I think, like, whatever bug was causing it to not pop, Oh yeah. yeah. It, they, they, like, oh, fixed, fixed it, it, and, and the backlog, the yeah, the backlog <laughs> came in. So I was like, oh my god, I turned off notifications and everything. I was like super scared. I was doing it in the middle of the stream. I was like, no, it's doing it before I started too. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks Thank you so Sam. much, Sam. Awesome. So he'll be in our Discord, I'm sure, uh, soon, hopefully. And uh, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so I will use my Orcish bow then at mail or melee because I'm in the space there, rolling two die three plus on these wolves. Let's see what happens. I got one. Oh, this puts us in yellow. Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. We're in yellow already, Sorry. and we all have starter weapons still, pretty much. Yeah. That's not good. I know. Sorry. That's not good. <laughs> okay, that was one, two, and then that. Shoot. Okay, Nelly is going to do she get up in there. free move, and then one, two. So she has one action left. You can do and two I dice, do four two plus. two die, four plus with my bastard sword. Please, here. one hit. Oh, no. No. So with my guy who is... Uh, take your skill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is oh, true. Oh, free action. I could have... Oh, who, who got that? William. We just talked about that. So I could I could have... Yeah. So okay, he, so he, then technically, yeah, move Nelly back. Swing. That yeah, was yeah. his swing because he rolled two die, three plus kills. Sure. Okay, that fair? <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. That works. Okay, so then he gets one more. Wow. Yeah, that's the problem. He got a vault weapon now. He's going to be like a killing machine and just yeah. like fly. So maybe okay. trade that off to somebody else to let them get some love. Yeah. Okay, so then Nellie will search. Maybe she can get something good and bring yeah, it to the yeah. group. 
Uh, oh my gosh, a dragon fire. There we blade. go. This is from the, the, the Wolfsburg expansion to kind of balance out the wolf's thingy. So you can discard this. They all have cool little abilities. You can discard this to create a dragon fire at range 0 to 1. So if you, abominations yeah. are out of control, we got a wolf abomination breeding down our neck, and you need a way to kill him, that will do it. Okay, well, no one can really take this except for William, but maybe William can pass. Yeah, William's going to need to trade it off to somebody. Well, he can take that. Or, or He's the only not, one that I mean, can hold Nelly's going to need to trade that yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, Why she's, can't Nelly use it right now? Because she's not in yellow. Oh. Because it has the... Yes, I forgot. On the top there. See the blue one is broken? No, it's actually oh, orange. Oh, it's orange. Oh, my so gosh. nobody can use this for a long time, so... Well, I can... Yeah. Okay. So you can hold it in your backpack, and it's like dragon fire. So if abominations do come early and we're having trouble, you yeah. can just toss it and do that. But I would love to hold it till later. Yeah. Where do you get the trays for your cards? Uh, we just kept ours in a pile. Oh, these. They are actually cool. I mean, they're not official trays. Uh, they were an add-on to Kickstarter, but I have seen them at game stores. Uh, there are ones for Invader also that are blue and like purple or something, a different different color set that match that theme. But these were ones that actually we've got in the Black Plague Kickstarter. Uh, they also have them in the Green Horde Kickstarter uh, that you could just add on to your pledge. But they do sell them as a product. I've seen them at conventions. And I've seen them at board game stores like in retail cha channels. Just look up Cool Mini or Not, like mini card holders or something. Or Simon card holders or whatever they're called. Awesome. So she searched for one action. She'll move out for free. And then I can do two... Three, let's kind of stay as a group, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then I think we'll leave this fatty and just run. Oh, I'll search, actually. Yeah, he'll come catch up slowly. And... Yeah. Oh, oh another, another one. What is this? The Shield, Shield of, of Ages. Ages. Gain the shove skill. Choose one. Armor 4 plus or re-roll once. Armor rolls made with another equipped armor. New result takes the place. Oh, so that's the same text as normally on a shield. Yeah, this so is that's... also orange. So I'm just going to put it in my backpack for now so I don't oh, act... Oh, because he, he can't use it yet. Yeah, they can't ah, use them yet. Find oh, this good God. stuff too early. All right, so that was search for <laughs> one, two, three. That is me. Done. So zombies will move. So that one, that one, and if you can do the big guy up Brrr. there. Okay, so starting up in that corner. We're in yellow now, so we're going to get one fatty. We are going to get all standards walkers, get an extra activation. Mm. Yoink. Yoink. Okay, that's that one. This one is a necromancer. Ah! Necromancer, and he's going to bring a spawn, which we will do right now. Three walkers. One, two, three. And last one over there is another necromancer. So he's so going to move. This guy just moves. Here. Yeah, he so is it trying says, to get to this one, I would assume, because when he gets out here, that is the closest one. Mm -hmm. Yep. So he's got to get through us. Come at me, bro. Okay. And now clean up noise, pass first player. Hmm. So we still need to get in here to get this, and we still need to get these before okay. we can start running away and going through the other doors. But it sucks that now we're going to open this building at least, and it's yellow. Hopefully not orange. Okay, but. I think I'm going to send this guy this way. Okay. Yeah, One, we can split up and we can try to get that going too. Two, and then I will roll my hammer. One die, four plus. Yes, yes, yes. Boom. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's done. Uh, who should I bring with him? Maybe I will... Nelly, Nelly try to open the door? N like, uh, like yeah, this, she can Like now. one of she these doors? Now. like. So she can move for free. She can also try to shoot at this guy, right? And then one, two. So she has one maybe or two. I open the, or maybe I shoot and then I open the door next yeah, round when everyone has their actions. Okay, yeah. So I'll use my short bow, one die, three plus, at one range away. Got yeah. it. Yes. Boom. Okay, she's done. Uh, see, William, he can open the door. Do you want him to open the door? Att attempt. Uh, he, he, He's in here with you. Well, if you're keeping your guys together, he can go that way and try to open one of these doors to get you guys started. Because there two, are two this way. So. Yeah, but you won't, nobody will be able but to do that. But your call, if you want to try to open that, that's fine. You can try. I'm not saying this round. Oh, yeah, but then we reveal stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So let's do... But if you want to get in position for that, because it'll yeah. suck if one of these guys wastes all their action, open a door, get the door open, we get yellow spawns in here, then you have one guy sitting in front of a bunch of yellow spawns. Then what do you do? Yeah, you're right. So 
And we got this okay. coming out too yeah, that we're going to have to worry about. So, so let's get by them before one, that happens. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're going to open or try to open down here. Gregor is going to do his usual big whiff on the door. Uh, for one. Miss. That's a noise. Got it. You got it. So, so two, two noise. Door open. Let's spawn. See what happens. Spawning first in the yellow. Room. First room. All runners get a standard. There are none. Oh, good. Next room. Beautiful. Next and room. And one runner. Oh, that was good timing. <laughs> good thing that came up not in the opposite <laughs> order. <laughs> okay. All right. So he two actions. Uh, another action he is going to. Hmm. He'll just move in so he can search next round. Uh, He'll get attack though. Is that fine? I'm going, I got other guys to do here. Okay, let's let's okay. get all our actions on first before we worry. All right. Uh, so Rocco is going to move in. He is going to fire with his crossbow. Uh, I got two dice here. Two die, four plus, trying to fire on this runner. Gets him. Boom. He's going to two experience. Uh, and he'll search for his uh, final action. And whoa, what do we got here? Oh, another late one. Do you shuffle this I did good shuffle or not? them. I shuffled it a bunch too yeah. earlier today. Uh, but yeah, this is coming later. I don't know how many of these are, are in there. But look, it can open doors without uh, rolling dice. But I can't hold it till we're in orange. So he's just going to take that. And Doran is going to just move in. Uh, he will pick up Artifact. Uh, for five experience, going to seven. And that's going to give him an extra action in a sec. Let's find out what we get. It's just regular. Here, don't put it. Regular, it's whatever. It's fine. Okay. Uh, just regular experience. But at least we got half our objectives done there. Mm -hmm. uh, and now he will search. I think, right? This is a different guy? Same guy. Oh, yeah. He, he moved in. Yep, yep. He picked up. That's two. He's searching, but he also has an extra action on top yep. of that from leveling up. No way. Oh, no, this is different. He's looking for power blast he can hold here, but we got power Whoa. wave. Oh. Which I assume is different unless there's some kind of radar typo there. But You can dual wield that. That's cool. Yeah. So it's a combat spell. Add plus one die to another equipped combat spell. So with mana blast, if I'm reading this correctly, I don't see why I would, but... This one, you could just do two dice, four plus already, so I don't see why. Oh, but mate, yeah. Plus one die to another equipped combat spell. I guess if I got something like amazing instead of mana blast, then yeah. I could roll that instead. I, I don't know. But yep. Sure. But he does get plus one die roll to magic, so that's a, that's a thing. So this only needs to hit on three plus. That's good. Which is good. Yeah, two die, three plus. That's good. Uh, and then he'll use that last action he got to just move out. Okay. And I'm done. So all these guys turn. go. Uh, uh, where do they want to go? I guess oh, in the store, Oh, they're just right? going to stop there, yeah. I think they just stop at the door. They will, yeah. I got as far as they'll get. Yep. Okay, top corner in yellow is three walkers. Well, it's going to get crowded up there. Get those two. Uh, down here, we have two wolves. Of course. Of course, we got some wolves coming. Okay, we have two spawns in here. So the first spawn in here is going to do one wolf bomination. <laughs> Woo! Why not? He's here. Da, 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 da. And then another two wolves in that spot because he's bringing his friends. For the second spawn in here. And then the last spawn. Probably should have prioritized killing that oh, necromancer, three more actually. Wolves. Yeah, yeah, to get I, rid of I probably one. should have moved up and just tried to shoot him instead of going for items and stuff. To get rid of one. But I think getting equipped is smart. Okay. Wow. Okay. So cleaning up noise up and noise. passing first player. Okay. Dragon says mana shot would become three plus. That's what you said, right? Yeah. Mana yep. blast would be three plus. Or both of them would oh, be. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's plus one die, not plus one to dice roll. Oh, so you get so, three die. Or two die. Yeah, but then that doesn't make it any better than right. the power wave itself. So that's why I was saying, like, you need 
you need like another good spell that already rolls like two dice and then that makes that other spell do three dice instead. Right. So I'll keep hunting. Maybe I'll find something better. But at least Power Wave is an upgrade from Mana Blast. Uh, all right. John says, time to get chewed on. Yep, all the wolves are coming out. Well, wolves are coming We've got wolves one here, of these ways, but they won't reach yet. No, but I these think... These ones, one, two, three, will reach, but shouldn't attack. Uh, so I'm going to step... Is this any two damage? Nope. Um... Okay, Rocco is going to go one, two... Wait, these guys, one, two, three. Oh, Abomination will be right in the spot. Well, oh my god. Oh, and I can't even throw Can I just, I can discard yeah, this. Yeah, from your backpack, yes. From my backpack. But you gotta wait till he's like one to zero range away from you. Yeah. All right, Rocco's gonna step up and he's gonna roll two dice, uh, looking for four plus into this space, two damage. So he could kill a fatty if we get both hits, but I don't oh think that's a gosh. thing. So what did he do? One, two, three. Three, that sucks. Oh, and that now was... he's going to get Abomination. One, two, three in a space. And to move out of an Abomination space, is it just... It's one per zombie no matter what they are, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that could be bad. We need to kill that guy so we don't have more spawns here. Um, hmm. Yeah, that sucks. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, uh, this guy's going to search, uh, if you could please. Nope, search. Oh, that's right. That is yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great sword, which is five dice, five plus. Mm. Uh, I don't love that one. Five plus uh, is hard to get. Uh, yeah. So then he will move one. Who's immune Four. to the wolves? This guy was yellow. So search one. I don't know. Two. And then got Dorian who will do one. And he is going to use power wave two dice. Looking for three plus. Because of his plus one to dice roll. Can he hit a two? Uh, no, it's a no, single just, damage. Okay. So uh, oh, Necromancer can't, even, can't even hit him. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that's rough. That is really rough. Where was he? Here? Mm -hmm. One range away. Yeah. One, two. And then I'd have two attacks no, there. But I that's too that. dangerous. Well, come and join this. And then... Yeah, he'll just run by then. One, yeah. two. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, yeah, I messed up. I messed up. Okay, done. Your okay. go. So, this guy, William. Can someone kill the Necromancer? Does anyone have a shot? Oh, no, because range, right? Yep, no, never mind. The fatty's protecting him. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Great sword of disappointment. It Agreed. Is for Agreed. sure. Okay, so William's going to move out for one. He has four actions. So he moves out for one. His orcish bow can shoot one to three. So let's do a shot here. Two die, three plus. This is action two. I got one. Experience. Experience. So that was two. I could do it again for action three. Okay, there we go. Experience. And then one, two, three. I could just try to eliminate one or two of them. Yeah. It's the fourth action, last action. One of them. Dang it. Okay. You know, we gotta move up and take the weapon from him and then shoot once or something. Remember, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. Um. Well, I'm just debating. Because you could do like free with Nelly, trade, and she could get two shots. If you really care about zombies all the way over here. But they only go one, two. Oh, yeah, they do go in his spot. No, or they go in your spot, actually. Because no, one, two. They oh, go yeah, they go here. Because line of sight. Yeah, which is fine. Um, I'm worried about this situation. I know, but you can't really so do much So the only thing it. I'm thinking is if I bring him 
into the space with you. So hit them next time? Yeah, and he can hit fatties. And uh, I'm going first next round. Yeah. But this is still the problem. I know. Yep. We, we gotta so, spend an action to get out. That's but if we can problem. get rid of a lot of this, then... Okay, so let's do... Yeah. I think we just leave a guy behind, though, too. That's the other thing. Let's do one, two. He'll just hang out there with his hammer. And Nellie. Nellie could actually do... Oh, no, she only has... Only one uh, value. So she could do free move, like I said, yeah, trade, and trade, and two shots down the hall with that. Okay, let's do that. Then she gets two damage on that orc thing. No, no, it's still one. Yeah. Okay, so move for free. Then she'll use one action to take the orcish bow. Uh, give him that bow, sure. Okay, and then I have two more actions. So shoot once. I get one. To four, if I could do that. And one more. One. Okay, so they're dead, which is good. That is. Yeah, because we need to get other people up into the yellow as quick as possible. Okay. None of my guys use noise, just checking. Okay. That's it. So right. zombies. Uh, yep. So in here, in here. These guys are all going to come out. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, this is very bad. Yeah. That's so why I should have just left the one guy when he moved there and realized that. I should have just left him and we, we, we just went on our way. Like, we still could get out of this, but it's like we're still pretty weak with not enough actions. But Okay, and then if you know. can, can you do all those guys up there? Okay. So, uh, oh, no. So he's yeah. going to kill somebody so three, anyways. Three hit activations doing... Uh, but he's going to... There's Feeding Frenzy, though. He's not going to attack three different people. Does he not do three actions, or...? He does, but I thought the whole Feeding Frenzy thing is a thing. Well, how does it work? Tell me. I'm going to find it. So that's what I don't know. I know it's just they don't leave the space. Right, but they, they just kind of eat the same person. Mm. It's not a... Uh... We'll just read zombie attacks. Yeah, I was just looking to see if it was in the index specifically. Someone might be able to tell us before we find it, but... Like, I think he's going to do three attacks, but he probably just does one attack, but I think it's three, and it's... I think he hits for, like... I think he hits for, like, three. Five points experience, minimum three damage. A damage three weapon or dragon fires require to kill. They have three actions per game turn. This is played the same way as zombie wolves. Zombie wolves have three actions per game turn. After all zombies, including the runners and zombie wolves, have gone through their activation step and resolved their first action, the runners and zombie wolves go through the activation step again using their second action to attack a survivor in the zone or move if there's nobody to attack. Then the zombie wolves go through the activation step for a third time using their third action to attack a survivor in their zone and move if there's nobody to attack. The only thing that feeding frenzy means they just don't like leave the space. They stay there if there was somebody to eat, I'm pretty sure. But you can double check. Zombie turn? Did you pass that or? Well, this is all zombie turn, but I was just trying to see if they had like a little blurb about it. Yeah, they will where zombies attack. So. Sorry. They don't really. Zombie. Oh, feeding frenzy. Okay, feeding frenzy. Zombies fight in groups. All zombies activated in the same zone as a survivor join the attack, even if they're are so many that it would be overkill yeah so what it's saying is no zombies will leave so it's not like this one guy kills one guy who or all three of us he kills us all these other guys aren't going to just leave the zone they all just sit there and kill so he is going to do three what did i say three damage three yeah yeah so he's going to kill all three of these no, guys here. he's going to be rolling oh, oh he can't 
Yeah, you don't roll against Abomination, so you just lost the playthrough. But even with my Iron Hide, because uh, it's not really armor. Well, maybe it is, I guess. Where is their attack value? On the back. It's on the back. Damage. Mm, Damage. Minimum to destroy. Oh. Yeah, so it's not on the back. Like, that's why I'm looking in here. Uh, three is the player. Yeah, so we need to read about Abominations. So... But I think it is on the back, though. It's just in that chart somewhere. Let me see. Actions? Nope. Targeting priority? Nope. Minimum damage to destroy? Nope. Experience points to destroy. Or experience points? Nope. So we just have to find uh, abominations, which are up when they describe zombie types. You can tell me you never have like abominations attack. No, I've never ever had this happen I, before. So abominations wounds inflicted by abominations can't be prevented by armor. A damage through weapons required to kill. Um but yeah. yeah, it just says minimum damage to destroy is three. Damage three, da, da, da. Yeah. So I think they just uh That's how many they do. He just hits once. Yeah, I think they just hit for one hit then. I thought they hit for more though, but uh, maybe it's just the ignoring armor roll thing. Or maybe I'm getting confused with another zombicide. John says, Ouch, this bites. The wolves are vicious. The abomination is even worse. John, do you know if yeah, the abomination to... hits harder at all or just ignores uh, rolls? Like, does anyone in the chat know? Do they just still hit you only for one wound? In my head, for some reason, I think they hit for more, but maybe not. Maybe it's just going to attack. For one wound three times and you can't armor block it so isn't it the same as their minimum damage to destroy is the same that they hit you back for no, 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 it's no. for sure not no because then no i think fatty's in i think we're getting confused yeah i think we're getting confused with the whole green guys too the like green yeah zombies yeah, yeah. and then the invader zombies and there's like everyone they all have different rules and different nope. damage and stuff but I, I think in Black Plague, I don't know why we don't know this. Like I read it, I read this and I think I just was like, yeah, it all makes sense. But uh, there should be papers. Oh, I think they only do one. Yeah, in Maybe this I think do. that, yeah, I think they only do one. There's that this one? too, yeah. yeah it's so, not very clear at all No, on because here. I think it's just assumed at this point. But I think in Invader, it changes. It, I think in Invader, like, the fatties hit, like, harder and stuff. Or or maybe it was in Green Horde. Maybe it's just based on their actions. They do one action, so one action is one damage. Yeah, I think it's just one attack. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't think we've ever been killed by an abomination, ever. Like, they do... They yeah, do they do one, one damage, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay, I was thinking all three of those guys were dead. Yeah. All right. One action is one damage. Okay. Okay, okay. So we could split the damage. Yep. So one, one damage per action. One here, yeah. one here, and one purple. He gets one. Yep. And it can't be prevented by armor Correct. rolls, so I assume Done. the iron hide is not card. There. Okay. Uh, that was for what am I doing this for again? For spawning, right? Okay. Sure. I'm like, where are we here? So that was that one. So this one. Thank you for your help, guys. Four walkers. Yeah. I don't know if it's in Green Horde where they do more damage or something that I'm confusing with. But. Three walkers. That's the one in there. Double spawn. So that one doesn't. So two spawn here. We're going to get four walkers and two walkers. So six walkers. Whoa. One, two. Three, oh, we're in trouble. Four. We gotta get through this door to get Five, anywhere six. going. This is, this is six. Yeah, I think we okay. didn't go fast enough here. Yeah, I think I got into yellow too fast. So. Yeah, I agree. Sorry. I hundred percent agree. I don't know why you did that. I didn't mean to. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize until to. after yeah. I did it. I didn't mean to. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. No rolls for abomination. That's it. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you, John. Well, clean up the noise, no noise, and you pass first player to me. Yeah, so I thought we were in trouble too. I thought all we those are three in guys trouble. were going to die. <laughs> we're in trouble. Look at this. 
Okay, so We're I'm in first. Trouble. So, whoever goes first, well, it's going to be Samson. People with melee. He's not going to be able to get out of there. Well, you got to kill the other guys first. So, Necromancer first, so that you can get rid of this. Then wolves, so that they don't hit three times. Okay. Just like the wolf abomination. And if someone can kill a fatty, if we can get all these guys out of here, then we just move out for an extra well, he'll one. he'll be stuck. Like, he only gets three actions. The problem is this guy keeps following. So if we can somehow... I mean, he might have to just die. Samson might have to just die to sacrifice for the team here. Hmm. I don't know. Right? Because he's not going to get out. He has three actions. Well, nobody can get out right now unless we kill some zombies. Well, so Okay. Hmm. So he needs to go for the fatty at least because he's okay. got a two damage weapon, right? Yep. But okay, so, so does... Who else is here? You. Not my guy. And this guy has range to do two damage, so that's going to hurt other people. No, let's me... I'll try to get the fatty with the hammer. Nope. Nope. Oh uh, you can't die. Everyone has to escape. Uh, but I thought it's only everybody that I don't know. Survives. Some scenarios say it has to be everybody. Some scenarios say everyone has to survive. Some say everyone who's still alive has to escape. Reach the zone, exit zone with all survivors. Any survivor may escape through the zone at the end of the turn as long as there's no zombies. So you have to do it with all the survivors you start with or all the people who just are survived. Yeah, we've always played where it's yeah, just everybody I, that's still alive. I think some scenarios tell you that. Um, Zombicide. Quest. Because then this could be over then. Yeah, that's fine. I just I want to know though. Yeah, someone can die if the rules say otherwise. If the rules don't say otherwise, excuse me. Is it over here too? Oh, Michael agrees. You can't die. Well, it might be over then. <laughs> I know this has been asked and this has come up before in the past. Um, look at Board Game Geek. Reach the exit zone with all survivors. Any survivor may escape through the zone at the end of his turn. Till now, my group have been interpreting this as survivors, which means if someone dies, we do not lose the game. But on second thought, that could refer to all heroes, not only the ones surviving. Does anyone know if the game keeps going when someone dies under any circumstances? Somebody says survivors are what the game or what the game calls heroes. If you lose one, the game is over. It does say reaches the zone with all survivors. If uh, that's not official, let me see. Oh, it was officially confirmed, supposedly, that the term all survivors is equivalent to all starting survivors. So officially, such missions are immediately lost if there's any death. Playing the game out to see how many can get the exit is a far a fair way to judge how close you got to winning, though. Yeah, that's how we've always played. And then somebody says here, actually, I put this up on the screen. Somebody says here, uh, Zombicide Black Plague, page 38, use the magic circle to teleport to safety. Reach the exit zone with all survivors. Any survivor may escape through the zone at end of turn, as long as there are no zombies. Compared to this one, reach these objectives in order. Kill this. Hmm. But that one doesn't say to get out. Yeah. There's yeah. anyone that says out, get out. Oh. But then this one says, escape, reach the exit zone with all starting survivors. Mm. So you, are, you never pick up people as you go. Like, you can't just be like, I'm going to add someone in. Hmm. It's probably not going to be answered officially on here. Do yeah, you? that's so sucks. I hate when someone says it's been confirmed officially and doesn't put a link. Like that to me is just like, it's annoying. And I've seen where people have said that in, in forums. And I know personally from talking to like designers, they're like, no, I didn't say that. I don't know why somebody would say that. Um... Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I think we maybe did it wrong for a while, or there was ones that were said starting. 
And how is this one worded exactly again? Quest B2, what's this? Interestingly, when you look at the official downloadable quest from the Zombicide website, there are two broken in these categories, escape or abstract wind conditions. However, it does appear the verb has been adjusted possibly for clarity. And yeah, they did add starting survivors in the downloadable ones. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So, well, our stream is going to be over pretty quick here. Yeah, yeah Ghoul, we always thought it was your way too. Was uh, it, it just says with like whoever survived, but it is true. In this game, these guys, each one is called Survivor. Like they're called a Survivor, which is like a bad... I understand why it's like post-apocalyptic, so it's like they survived the world ending, whatever, but uh, they really shouldn't have used that term. It should say with like, you know, escape with all. They should have just called them characters or something or heroes. Or even say if the intention is at least one person, then at least one Actually, person does should it survive. it say in the book? No. What is it? How is it exactly worded? Just all characters? Yeah, it's worded the wrong way. I, did, I was just curious if the, the PDF was updated, but cool me or not, it's not one to like print updated rules or out books or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's okay. So that's it then? This is going to be Well, good. yeah, once someone dies. <laughs> well, he's going to die because he only has one more action and he can't get out. Yep. Oh, he kills this guy anyway. So this is, we, we live and we learn. Wolfsburg is... Wolfsburg is what you play after you play Black Plague recently and you want to step your game up. Not the first thing you pull off the shelf when you haven't played Zombicide uh, Black Plague in like many years. No, but I feel like <laughs> we've always played it that way. So we probably played and lost other scenarios then that we shouldn't have True. won. Because I, I was thought in this game you're okay to like let a guy or two die to like take one for the team. I thought that was yeah. always part of Zombicide. Yeah. Hmm. That I'm not know. sure. I'm sure someone watching later will leave it down in the comments below. We're, our memories are just horrible and like our book isn't too clear. Um, and I don't think this is going to say it either. But this is what happens. But obviously the question has been asked so we're not the only ones to be like... Yeah, and even in the chat we see that people are playing it. Yeah, the nobody same knows. It's, it it's not clear. That's the, the, the problem. It's not clear. Yeah, that's crazy hard though. It's supposed to be easy scenario, right? So right. it's like it seems weird that it's like one guy dies and you're done, you lose. That seems like too hardcore for Zombicide, to be honest. Well, if you can't die, it is quite hard. Yeah. Then. Like more than I thought it would be weird. Yeah, I'm really confused. I, yeah, cool. I I'm agree. the same. I, I'm really confused yeah. also. I'm really confused. Because I thought as long as somebody makes it out. Sometimes there's objectives that you hold on to and that person has to get out. Just seems weird. I'm gonna go find. Oh, there's other pages. People asking the same thing. Yeah, there's probably multiple. Yeah, yeah. It's loading, loading. Well, we're gonna learn. We're, let's turn an educational stream here. <laughs> I'm a bit confused about how many survivors have to remain alive and exit a mission to win. I believe all bar one mission Black Plague states all survivors must exit through the exit zone. Quest 4, however, reads that all starting survivors must exit. Yeah, this was the thing that we used, I think, when somebody brought this up before. I used this to say, you're wrong. <laughs> but maybe it's just bad rule book editing, you know what I mean? Like, right. That they just missed it on one or accidentally put it in. What do you need, Black Plague book, actually? Yeah, you can look in there. I'm going to just look at this one. I'm reading all the all the quests just to see if one of them is worded a little different. I just took it as like, at least if you get one person through, you're good, but yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, not a lot of these have the escape together thing. Yeah, these ones too. We'll go to quest four. Did you find four? 
Press 4 doesn't even have an escape, an exit. Yeah, it doesn't even have yeah, an egg. right there. Lock yourself in the vault. You win the game when all starting survivors are in the yellow vault during an end phase without any zombies with them. Okay, so that one says all starting. This one says... Yeah, Quest Zero has the same objective, right? Quest Zero and Black Plague is the same. Reach the exit with all survivors. Invader, it specifies all heroes must survive. Yeah, because I think they realized people complained, right? Yeah, reach the exit with all survivors. Again. Yeah. It could, could it mean that you lose if one server dies? Yes, that's the way I play it. It makes the game very challenging. But they meant Zombicide, I don't think, it's supposed to be like a super no. hardcore, like, can never beat it one in ten times kind of thing. See, and I can take it as reach the exit with all the surviving people that you have left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jim P here does it the same way as we did. If it says all starting survivors, like Quest 4, that's what you do. If it says all survivors, you allow some to die, provided everyone's still alive made it. Will says you can house thrill it any way you want. Absolutely. I agree. To... I agree. But the problem is when you do it on YouTube, someone will come to your video finding it later and go, wait, they don't play it like I played or like how it's supposed to be played. And then they just rip on you in the comments. And then I feel bad showing people. And then they might play it wrong and like it's not meant to be how it's done. And uh, yeah, that's the only reason. If I at the beginning of the video was like, warning, this is the way we're going to play it. Suck it. This is our rule. <laughs> That's different, but I just feel bad if we just nonchalantly just do it that way. But obviously, when they get to this point in the video, they'd be like, what? okay. And Ghoul says, I think you really can die. Just death of the character is enough punishment. Plus, Zombicide is meant to be played yeah. with more characters. So, yeah, exactly. And you can't get more characters. You can't <laughs> add someone. <laughs> when did you last see a zombie film where everyone made exactly. it? Exactly. And it's got the point in this, what this guy said. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we can play it however we want. If we want to say... Yeah, see, something... survivor death before the clock starts the scenario should be a real threat and likelihood, but not something to end the scenario. Yeah, it just makes it harder. Yeah. Yeah, we can just play it that way. I can't believe there's not, like, like someone official... linking to, like, designer of the game in a forum. Or... Do they answer questions after their Kickstarter is over? Not, not cool mean or not doesn't, but maybe the developers did, the guillotine games guys maybe, but. Hmm. Hmm. Those avatar pictures are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> John, I just read the quest for famine. I kind of agree that one specifically says starting mm -hmm. survivors. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one, whereas this one does, I'd say you can die, but at least one hero has to survive. And that's how we've always played, John. Just one guy has to still be alive to get to the end. I'm like hoping to see something. I'm going to jump to the end here. I'm just hoping to see somebody who's Designer. like... Is that anything? No. Never mind. Go ahead. It's going on for three pages. It's funny that all these people have to like debate it and not a single person from the company like gets involved in any of these. That's sad. Okay, we'll just have yeah. you on a roll. I, I don't know. It's, it's, 
I think it's going to end either way really quick for us here. Yeah, so even if we did keep playing. But yeah, I agree. It takes way too hard, but uh, we'll just play it our normal way we play it. Okay. So we keep going until everyone's dead. Does Kobe not have a Discord? <sighs> I doubt I that. Know. I highly doubt that. Keep playing for fun. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's on the side might have a Discord, like an, a fan, a fan one, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna keep playing. All right. So let's do it. So okay, so he's done. Um. I guess. Like she has the buy the the dragon fire. <laughs> but that's not good either. It's okay if some people get out first, but you would kill all these everyone there yeah. first. No. Nope. What we want to do is if just one person dies, fine. If somebody else can, if they can get out. But the problem is he has three activations every turn. So even if you just get out one or two spaces away, he's back in your space hitting you again. And then back and back and just keeps doing it like yeah. He's, this guy is the, I was going to leave him out of the deck. I thought about it because I was like, three activations from an abomination is a little rough, but I don't know. I left it in just because I thought, eh, it comes out once. There's only a couple cards in the whole deck and we got him already. Yeah. Because you went to the yellow too fast. Killing me. I don't know that. I think you would have came out either no. way. No. No? No. On the, I looked. That's why I left him in because I was like, at blue, we're fine. He doesn't even come out. Oh. Okay. But okay. You, you, you went to yellow too quick, and that's what I think has uh, tanked us here, to be honest. Okay. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay, Nelly is going to go next. She is going to use the Orcish Bow. Uh, this is the easy scenario, by the way. Easy, it says. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so she is going to fire here for action one. But we know this trap from uh, Vault Weapons Yeah. of leveling up people too fast. We know yeah, this we from know. every single Zombicide you play. Don't start going crazy with the vault weapon until you need to rush up to a color so you give it to somebody who's like weaker later or whatever that's true that's true all right so that was one two easy hunter okay she gets a free did <laughs> i just say uh, did i just throw one out in there or no throw one what one of these guys i'm oh not my sure God. i think so you think so okay i don't know let me know if i didn't take a zombie there and i just did this oh my god um that was one two she gets an extra action so then two i am gonna roll again because i know i have to roll again anyways but i still don't know if i oh that doesn't matter then doesn't matter then all right one two so that was three i have one more and again, you, you could have been shooting in here too, right? It's just misses would hit our guys. Yeah, but that's not smart because... But then you might kill some of these guys and allow them to actually get out on their turns. That's the thing. But it's okay. Well, William can, I guess, come and do that if you want, but... All right, she's just going to use her last action to shoot down this hallway. She can shoot up to three range away. Whoa. Boom! Okay. Big miss. Big miss. So then William will use his first action to switch for the bow. Do you want him to come do that? I don't one. care at this point. <laughs> like, we got Two, three. He's going to have only one shot. So, I mean... Yeah, if he misses, it hits one of us. Well, if, if he, he misses... Hits, if he hits, who does it hit? It, it hits the abomination who can't be killed. Oh, so it doesn't even he's matter. He's blocking everyone, yeah, because there's no walkers in there. Yeah, never mind that matter. strategy. Okay, so he's going to shoot yep. down. Never mind, because the priority order is actually walkers, then fatties, abominations, then runners, then zombie wolves, and necromancers. So. Okay. Womp womp. So then he is... Oh, sorry. When they did this trade, she was going to give that as well. Okay. Uh, so he's just going to shoot then. He did one action to trade. Uh, he kills one. Section two, action three, kills one. Any of our survivors have shove? Uh, no. On the uh, shield, it gives shove, but that guy needs to be an orange. Yeah. So no, that that would have been great, actually. Yeah. That's like a really powerful ability. Yeah. And we've used it before. We usually play with one one character with shove, usually, when we build our, our characters together, but we did Maybe not they, do it this does time. Does anyone have it as a later action? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no one gets it in yellow. No. Nope. Okay, and his last action is going to just 
shoot again. I think it's one. Oh, it's three, two. Maybe I missed that before. Oh my God. Whoops. That's fine. One, two. That's all my guys. Don't be afraid. Just go ahead and try. No matter your actions, you're still going to die. Yep. Our rule when we play anything, it works well, too well. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. All right. Just give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So it's you. Uh, all right. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Five dice. Five plus. One damage. Hopefully, I get three hits on here. I kill all three of the guys except for the abomination. Isn't the abomination before the wolves, anyways? Not for melee. This. Is, oh, your melee. This yes, is yes, range. yes. 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 This is range. Yes. Or I mean, melee. Target part is range. Yeah. That's what I meant. One, Whoa. two, three, four. No, it's five plus. One, two, three. That's three all I needed. Three is still great. Boom. Necromancer dead. Uh, I don't know what spawn. This spawn, sure. Gone. Uh, he goes up to three. Wow. So that's first action. Now, see? Then we can get out. Uh, so then he'll go one, two. No, nope. he needs to use an extra. So he goes only here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh... Where's the fire thing? Here. Oh, you brought it away. They were, it was, they were together anyways. Mm, should have worked this out better. Okay. Um, now, this guy, he is going to use two actions to move out and another action to move here. And then, who else is alive? Uh, green. Green can't really do anything to this guy. So he's going to move up and he's going to try to open this door uh, with his short sword. Miss, drop a noise, and second action, got it. Okay. Or wait, did he not? Yeah, he has four actions, right? Yeah. And it was only one, two noise there. Where was he? He's here, right? Yeah. One, door, door. Done. No, he has four actions. Four actions, right? oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to. Okay, and uh, then so spawn, spawn here. the first one is a necromancer. Oh my god, wow. he won't go away, this guy. I don't remember why I hated necromancer so much. I was even thinking as I was opening the boxes for this game, I was like, I hate necromancers. I forget why. There's now, so many yeah, of them. They just keep, you kill one and then another one comes back. Two fatties. Like too many in the deck. So this is from the necromancer space. Oh, great. And then we are going to get four walkers. <laughs> wow. Should we remove spawn zone from the exit zone? Oh, we're not getting that far. We're, uh, no, we're not getting that far. But remember, we can get up to this this tower thing. And can you not sh shoot like from here? You can shoot this spot. Yes. So we can we can try to thin the herd a little bit before we go over there, assuming we have range. But someone's gonna get trapped up here, so you can't really do that. So we got to go through the here. We just need to grab these red objectives first. Yeah. Uh, okay. So sorry, he was here. Move door door. Now you can fire in, right? Yep, and you got a fatty and a necromancer. Oh, fatty's blocked. Fatties. Fatty's blocked, so I can't do anything about that. Uh, so he will just. Try to open this door. Ooh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, I, that's fine. Push. We're taking Four. way too long. Four is open. Dropping another noise. I got it. Boom. First room. Abomination. Uh, so this guy gets to isn't, whack. Isn't that this one? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's regular. Regular. Sure. We get two on the board at once. Awesome. And then two, two walkers. walkers. Back here. Let's do this. Oops. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 60 minute scenario. Yep. <laughs> 
Whatever. Well, we were just chatting at the beginning, too. Oh, we're yeah. just too slow. We didn't, like, open doors, grab stuff, and stay in the blue. If yeah. we did the blue, it's very easy. Open it up. You get a walk or spawn or nothing. Yeah. Grab the objective. Go. Grab the objective. Go. Make sure four different people grab them. Don't kill any zombies on purpose. Let some guys hit you. And then you move. And then you go crazy. You just, like, turn it on and go. Yeah. But we should have split up more to open doors all together. But we did not plan that out. We stayed together too clumped. That is true. All right. Okay. So, I think so I'm done. So, that's it. So zombies are going to move. Yeah. yeah. So let's do them. Boom. In. Done. Okay. Done. This guy's coming in. Done. So this wolf guy mm -hmm. is going to do three. Hits. Well, he only has two. So, oh, but he. He's dead. He's dead. Gone. These ones here. These ones here. Uh, this is here? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so you can go through these and out. That's interesting. Yeah. Should have used uh, this. Yeah, I didn't notice there's two doors here. We could have totally done that way better. Got one of these open first. Hide. Let zombies walk by and then go out the other door. Like, we could still do that, but yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, and then oh. these guys up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just those. Okay. So, starting up here. there, two walkers. Oh. Here, that... two walkers. Okay, okay. I'm going to save it all. Uh, let's do this one. Yeah, we'll just do Necromancer last. Is four wolves. <laughs> <laughs> There's four wolves. Yeah. Uh, Zinc right here. Yeah, but I was just gonna get the next card. Oh. Uh, then that one up there is one runner. Okay, necromancer in here, one fatty. And then the necro necromancer spawn is one more fatty. Oh, where did you put that one fatty, and why? Why are you doing two spawns in that room? Oh, did I do something wrong? Sorry. Where did oh. you just put this? Why you put a fatty here and now you're just? Oh, you know what? I'm so sorry. I saw that and thought oh, it was. I'm so sorry. Yep, yep, yep. That's, that's so okay. just one. So did I? Objective. So then. Yep. That's fine. Just don't let any necromancers survive. Yeah, that was the other thing we did wrong was not <sighs> killing them quick enough. Yeah. We just let them you're keep walking. Take that. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that can clear up zombies like this is vault weapons. So like if somebody can, I don't, I don't think you can pick up unless there's no zombies in the room. So if somebody can still get one of these, if this one's a, a, a zombie weapon, maybe we have a chance, but I don't know. So yeah. Uh, I'm first? Yes. Okay. I just moved that. Okay. So. Move these down actually. Uh, I have teal and I have green. Green. Yeah, let's just do it together. Can this do this guy do anything from out? No. Nope. He has to get in there, right? Yep. All right. So. Hmm. Well, Rocco's gonna just go crazy, and he actually, yeah, he's gonna just fire his crossbow in this zone we're in. Uh, oh, but abominations and targeting priority because it's not melee. Yeah. Uh, so annoying. Uh, yeah, because abomination just absorbs everything. Okay, so no way to kill fatties from anybody of my guys then. Um, Just this one. Yep. Okay. Mm. So. Um, hmm. And Doran doesn't even have anything to really fire then. It's useless. And Rocco is just going to use short sword. Uh, and kill Necromancer. Okay. Get an experience for yep. that. Up to three only. And then which spawn should we get rid of? I don't know. The one right beside an objective token we need to get? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's do... He's going to fire into this room. Okay. With his crossbow. Uh, oh, wow. Fatty and this guy. He can kill a fatty? Absolutely. Perfect. Damage. Or I wouldn't fire in that room because it would be pointless. That's true. That's true. Uh, so that's... Second action, he's a short sword crossbow. 
Um, you can just do it again. Nelly will come in with the. I can kill the fatties potentially with yeah, this. Crossbow again. Uh, Three crossbow and a one. is no. No. Nothing. No, oh, I didn't kill. Ran my two experience up to five. Okay, so next is green guy. He's just gonna fire magic into here. Okay. Two dice. Looking for three plus. Nothing. Fire again. That's noise. Got him. Uh, Got him. Both. Kills two. Goes to nine. And again, uh, he'll fire into this one actually. Okay. Yes. And noise again. Kills both. Yes. To eleven. Okay. I think did one action miss. Action hit. Hit. Here's a fourth one, I think. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, because he only dropped three noise, right? Yep. Yeah, so he'll fire into this spot. Got it. Four? Yep. Okay. okay. Now, that's these two, and this guy can't do anything. I'm just going to step there. The wolf is going to get him. So there's three in here, so it's not enough. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, that's a great idea. So I'm going hide, to hide down the street. Yeah. Uh, Marion is asking, when is the next Too Many Bones playthrough? Not sure. We were just talking about yeah, that, Yeah, I right? was talking about wanting to do it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we should maybe plan that. Not this weekend. Not early next week. Maybe next weekend? Maybe weekend? next weekend after that. Maybe. But I do want to get it back to the table. Also, after I finish Too Many Bone or uh, Seventh Continent this run I'm in right now, I want to possibly switch to depending if other solo stuff shows up or anything uh i want to try a age of tyranny campaign solo that's something i want to try to do so don't worry it's not gone or if splice and dice stuff shows up that's the other thing that would get me to get it back to the table sooner super fast yeah, yeah so but we do want to there so is more that's... coming we're not not done with too many bones that's for sure yeah yeah i just don't have anything scheduled right now Okay. okay, so what can I do here to help you? If I go in with Marianne, nope, Marianne is that, <laughs> I'm going crazy, with Nelly. Nelly. Um, where's I your can, third guy? He died. Oh, he's dead, you already cleaned him up. <laughs> I just moved him I was like, oh, okay, I was like, where did your other board go? Um, what happened? <laughs> okay, I think we'll do that. Uh, let's just see if I want to switch. Maybe you kill two fatties. Yeah. But then we got wolf guys going to be in the spot. That's so crazy. Two abominations. We shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have put the wolf guy in the box, but it said in the book, just throw them all in the standard piles is how it works. I know they're giving us better weapons, but we need to get up to orange to use some of these. Well, one, if they are both in the spot, one, listen, two. if you kill these two fatties and in a perfect world, one of this, this abomination just does a hit. This wolf guy does a hit. We spread those. It's fine. Then there's only two guys in the space, like two zombies. The two abominations. These guys can move out for their actions just to get out of the space. And then somebody burns them alive with the, the dragon fire blade thing. Throw in the bile and kill the two abominations. Yeah. But what always happens in Zombicide, once you get it all together and you finally kill abomination or kill a whole bunch of guys off the board, then you draw the abomination card right after that and abomination's back again. <laughs> right. And... But it's fine. And Nelly... No, William has the... Um... Dragonfire, mm -hmm. sword, but he. I'm going first next turn. That's fine. Why, why is that a problem? So you can't get out before that can happen. So oh, it has to wait till the following turn. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, which is so trade it to so, somebody. Unless they trade it to you. Can you trade when zombies are in a space together? No, right? I think uh, you can. I think you can trade. Okay, so is this let's... a good solo game? I've heard it is good solo because it's co-op. You can just run six characters yeah. and it's no problem. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is fine solo. That's for sure. I've never played it solo, but I do see it on a lot of people's lists. Some besides in general, just because they're mm -hmm. they're co op, you can just run six survivors, no problem. Yeah. Okay, she's gonna go in for her free action. Maybe I'll be able to get back out. She's gonna use the bastard sword to die four plus. Oh my god. Okay, so that was one action. I got one. Nope, she's going to be in there, but that's okay, I think. That's fine. Just kill both patties. And that was one, two. This is three. 
Oh my gosh. And last action for four. But you wish you could use guard tokens right go. now. <laughs> All right. Got him. Okay. <laughs> now, you know what I could do? <gasps> what? Tell me, tell me. Oh, it's zero. Oh, we have four action. Oh, I have to be in the space? No. Uh, it says range zero to one on it. Okay, okay. He can... Oh, the zombie. One. He has four two, actions. Two, three, four. Yep. And he can fire into there. Yep. And we can just deal with this guy. Because mm -hmm. we can outrun that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so William, he's going to do one. And he's spend two actions to get out of the space. He's got four, two, right? Two, three. Yep, he's got four. Then I'm going to discard this card, orange, but that's fine at this point. Then I can it sucks hold. that you're throwing this away, which you could finally use an orange, <laughs> and, and, but it's got to do it. Let's get yeah. this guy off the board. Yeah. Then I'm going to discard this card, create a dragon fire at range zero to one. So open up that bag of... You got you to get the plastic token on the board. We got to see it. Got to see it. Okay. So I'm doing that, but tell me how much... XP Smell that wolf meat cooking. Discard this card. Okay, so that so, is... This is eight experience. Are we in orange? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we lose. We're in orange already. We're done. Hold We're on. done, I son. I just got to read what Lifesaver does. So I have the option of one free combat action, which I already can understand what that is, but Lifesaver. Maybe that can bring my guy back to life. <laughs> uh, Lifesaver. The survivor can use this skill for free once during each of their turns. Select a zone containing at least one zombie at range one from your survivor. Choose survivors in the relate in the selected zone to be dragged to your survivor uh. zone without penalty. This is not a move action. A survivor can decline the rescue and stay in the selected zone if their controller chooses. Both zones need to share a clear path. A survivor can't cross closed doors or walls and can't uh, be extracted into or out of a vault. They can cross barriers and hedges, hedges though. So, so if helpful, I take like that, I can person. pull all you of pull, you out. No, one Did survivor. Did it say one? I'm pretty sure. Select a zone containing at least one zombie at range one. Choose survivors in the selected zone. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I can, Pull us out. I can do that right now. Pull us out. I mean, he'll just come to us again, but... Then you do it again. He moves out and pulls everyone out. All right. Because you're first next We're going to take Lifesaver. <laughs> I would oh, but ne never take that ability. Oh, it's free. It said it's free. You would never yeah, take yeah. that ability? Not normally in a playthrough, but in this situation, <laughs> it seems really good. Okay, so then I can do it for free. I'll <laughs> yank everybody. Come on, guys. And these are all going. It's like you threw something in the eyes of the abomination. Okay. That's it, then, I guess. All right. So Okay. Uh, they move. One. Uh... One, two. Oh, I think this guy Does splits, that go right? Away? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, fine. it would go away first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wish. Dang. I've seen people house rule out where the fire <laughs> stays on the board. It makes sense. Stays Until, for the whole round. Yeah. But no, not in this game. It's poor design. But uh, does the runner split? Because there's equal. They do, right? Yep. In this game. Okay. Did you move these two? Yep. Okay, and then this one's gonna come in, uh, and then these guys are gonna. If you, oh, I didn't. Even, Okay, so up there, we are in orange. We're getting a double spawn, so a double spawn down oh, here. No. We are going to get an abomination, so he's just going to do an attack, but I will take that with my tough. Okay. So I block it. So you avoid it, yeah. I avoid it, yeah. And then a double spawn. So, okay, this is so where this I get all confused. done here. Okay, it's okay. done. Now double spawn moves to the next one, and you do two cards for that Two one. cards here. So five walkers and five walkers. Ten walkers right here? Two. And remember, if we run out of a certain type of mini, they start getting extra activations every time we have to activate them. Here's 10. I can stand those up all in a minute. Uh, we're going over there. Sure. A double spawn. So does it go so back, it back to the front? So back up to there. Yep. And then okay. draw two. One. So three fatties and three runners. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh, boy. And one, two, three. Okay. Look at all these spawn cards. We're going to be shuffling in a minute and get the wolf back. Oh my oh, god. Oh wow, yeah. Well, there's another one in there if we haven't seen it already. Oh my gosh. we got it in blue. I'm pretty sure oh. there's at least two. Oh, maybe we did. and that We did. And that's how we thought we were going to die. I don't remember actually. Oh, maybe we already maybe. saw it. Maybe. Yeah. We already saw it. I don't know. So now... So now noise. 
And I will take this. Yep. Okay. All right. So. What Get the red do... objectives and let's push it to this door. Go, yeah, go, go. This guy, though, is going to spend an action. Oh, to do the whole pole thing, right? But I'm going to shoot at these guys first because they move for three. Oh, yeah. So I can good. roll two die, three plus. Let's do one action. As long as I have enough actions to get out and pull you. You need to trade that off to somebody else to get some other people up in orange, man. Sure. This is rough. Okay. Yeah, I can give it Otherwise, before. Otherwise, we're never going to outrun the zombie wolves. You're right. So one action into here, three plus. I get two. One, two. Okay. So we don't want that guy in red. I could do one more. Yeah. And good. then two to get guys. out. That's four. Okay. And then you get the free action to pull us? Yeah. Yes. Boom, done. Okay. One, two. Okay. Then, so that was two. <laughs> yeah, Spencer, you popped in at an interesting time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Then two to get out of here. That's all four. Yeah. Then I will use Lifesaver to pull everyone out. Sure. Reverse shove. Yes. Okay. Uh, then we have... Nelly. Yeah. Get in there, pick up an objective, okay. try to get her getting a better weapon. She has or... a free move action, so this is free. Yep. Then we'll pick this up. Okay. Just for five. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Sixteen. That's one action. Two. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, picking up yep. one. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's two. Um just two more. I can go get that one. Hmm. Oh, no, you want to save well, that. Well, yeah, because you, you can get her slippery, and maybe she can get by some of these guys open a door and stuff. I don't know. Yeah? I, I don't know. Like, Or what? do you want the experience? I can, I'll can. i give you the orcish bow. Like, you come up and take it from me, and then you can start killing. You could just give it to somebody as a trade right now. He doesn't have any more actions. He's already oh, done. Oh, he's done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She has two more. Yeah. I don't know. Or if, actually. If you get this door open, too, that's another thing to get through there. Then we can, we can run around these guys. Well, these guys are going to then come in. Oh, right now they will. Yeah, 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 true. Yep. So I don't know what to do. Or huh? actually, I could have said I picked up, then I can search, actually. Yeah. So I picked up for one, searched for two, I found a torch. Okay. One half a dragon ball. I move out for three, and then I only have one more, so I'll just stay there. Or hide in here. Uh, Be away from this guy. Okay. Uh, no, I like the staying all together in case we need to pull him, whatever. But then more people get hit when people want to use range actions. That's okay. what we're doing wrong. I think, okay. Too. Then maybe I can come out behind and open the door and get ahead. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If okay, you're right. I need more. But go ahead. Would you like this orcish bow? Uh, who gets or somebody go pick up first. Hold on. Who gets a free... Oh, I get plus one of my max range with this guy. But this guy needs better weapons. Plus one die magic. Plus one action. This guy's going to be in trouble too. We're going to have to get him through. Oh yeah, forgot about him. <laughs> wow. But I think if you get one of your guys to come in, this is going to be a vault weapon because we only have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just thinking. So. Maybe it'll be a three damage vault weapon. Oh my god, imagine. I think there is one, but I might be angry. Well, it's horn. random, right? So we can look at the. Well, whatever. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think who should trade and get what. Is your guy, but your guy would only have a starter weapon if I take that from him. But then it's fine for now. He or I could trade with him actually. Yeah. Here you can have crossbow, and I take orcish bow. Sure. Just something to give you some more experience for sure. Here you can even take short sword, which you could dual wield if you wanted to. So I can roll two die four plus or two die four plus. No, I'll just well, range of that other one's two damage. But yeah. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Either way. Because uh, this is like a melee and a range, right? So, uh, okay. So now that's a one trade with Rocco, who's here, right, with him? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So he is going to move in. He will pick. Oh, no. He doesn't want to pick that up. No. He wants to go here and shoot oh, at least the. Yeah, runner. yeah. Sorry. He can't open doors anymore. I just gave away his door opening thing. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but I think he goes out in the hallway yeah. with the weapon. All right. So trade, move for one. It's one shot. Uh, two dice, looking for three plus. It's going to fire runner? here. Yep. Oh, is uh, it? Runner Walkers is... Walkers first anyways. Yeah, Walkers are first. But hopefully you get an extra action. Uh, 
miss. Big flip and miss. All right, well, that sucks. I was hoping to get him in the next level, and yeah, but didn't happen. Okay, uh, so next is... He's going to get an attack by the runner, though. I know. So I wanted to have the door open so I could fire in after someone picks this up. Uh, can he do Dang. that? No. Nope. Move in. Vault weapon. The vault weapon will give you five experience. Yeah, but... It's oh, he's already green, right? Or he's already... Uh, he's in yellow. Will it bump you to orange? All right, so he just has to try to save this guy. So he'll move up one and start firing with power wave. Uh, looking three plus. One. That's one. Two. Again. And third noise. Yes. Got him. And you get three XP for that. Yeah. So three noise. I got it, I got it. You got it? Three noise, three XP, up to 15. All right. Um, yeah. One, two, three. You just have to hope he doesn't get more than like one hit. Otherwise, he just dies, whatever. Well, if he gets one hit, then I'll pull you. Uh, or actually, you could just jump yeah. out next turn. Okay. All right, so that's done. good. Okay. So zombies are gonna move. So this guy gets hit for one. Let's do this one first. You can see him. So one, two. Yep. Like that. Move all these ten. There. So as you're joining them. Okay. So up there, we are in orange. We are getting four walkers. Yes, these player boards are standard. They started introducing these in Fantasy Zombicide, the second generation of Zombicide, and they're also in the third generation, which is a space theme, sci-fi theme, whatever you want to call it, Invader. So four walkers up in that top one. Sorry. Uh, this one, we are going to get three walkers. This is all orange. This is all orange, yep. Some of these walkers look funny. Three. Yeah, because they're like special sculpts and stuff. I know. They're just like all not skinny. Extras. So uh, that was yeah, that yeah, one. Cool. Uh, this one. Five walkers. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four. Hey, at least they're five. walkers. I know. I don't care how many. But are we going to run out soon? No. Okay. <laughs> and that last one. Yeah, it's Massive Darkness. Same designer, same company. <sighs> yeah. Double spawn. So we're going back up there. That's fine. We're going to do a well, one. Look at our door is wide open. It's saying, come and open us. One runner and one fatty. Yep, sure. Yep, this door is right here. Come, guys. You need to There's open this door. Up do it now or you'll never get to do it again. Yeah, okay. Pass that to you and I'll clear these. And you're first. Okay. So this guy is going to move out for two actions and then move in here for another action. That is it. Then... I'm going to leave that for this guy to pick up, I think. If he's alive still. But yeah, he definitely needs, alive, he needs some help. Yeah. He needs a better weapon for one. Uh, okay. So these guys. Uh, I don't want to do this. I guess I'll do melee weapon on Orcish Bow with Rocco, uh, which is two dice, three plus. Okay. One. 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 Uh, so it goes up to six. He'll do it again. Two dice, three plus. Gets the other guy. Now he's at seven, which is yellow. Nice. So he gets an extra action. So there's only two from him. So he's got two more. Um, I guess I'll fire okay. this way. No, we need to push forward. Yeah. Down. Although, does he have a way to open? Yes, he does. He'll try to open the door for four. Nope, misses. Okay. Was that loud? Uh, yes. Okay. Makes a noise. Okay. Uh, now this guy can't open doors. It's trouble. Then just run towards the door. He is going to go. Oh, but that's a spawn point. You have to be careful there. Uh huh. And there's no two damage. One, two, search. Get a hammer. A hammer. OK. 
Okay, that's something to... At least it kills help, baddies. And it opens doors. Yeah. Uh, so the last action... One, two, search. She has a fourth action. She's going to try to open that door. Yes. yes there finally. we go. And the hammer's quiet, right? Or is that uh, loud? No, that's loud. Yeah. Smash. Uh, yep. Smash. Smash door. doors down. Okay. I think that's all my guys. Done. Okay. So then let's do... I'll take that objective. Just nope. kill some guys or get some doors open. This guy is going to do... He has four. One, two, three, four. <sighs> But he's tough. And then this this girl for free. One, two. Door, 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 and door. I'll attempt door, to open door, the door. door. Two die, four plus. Oh, yeah, it's Bastard Sword. Got it. And that is noisy. Okay, door is open. Uh oh. Yeah. Three rooms to spawn here. This might be bad. Let's spawn the first room. Okay. Uh, four walkers. Okay, not too shabby. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's spawn this room. Double spawn. Let's spawn this room with two cards. Double spawn. So. And necromancer. Okay, necromancer in this room. Okay. Uh, so we have to spawn for him yep. first, and then right? We'll and then we do. Two more cards in this first room. Four walkers. One, two, three. Four. Is that? Oh no, those are going in here with him. Sorry. Okay. And then, then two two cards for this first room again. Necromancer. So he's going to move. move here. Okay, another card. And then I have to shuffle. Oh. So one more. Where is that weapon that can open a door without rolling? Yeah, no kidding. I know, there right? Is, there is one. We haven't searched enough. I feel like in this one. I don't think you start with that, right? It's only the hammer you get at the start, or a short sword. Which yeah. Both are noisy. So now we're starting to run out of... <laughs> we're now starting to run out of walkers. Yep. I would say we have about 10 left. Well, we're going to mow some down in a minute, hopefully. Well, this is going to be the end of the turn, right? Like, I only have... How many more actions do I have? I have to count that. Uh, Nelly has it. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope. All right. Well, did one of those flip? Yep. All right. So we're doing one more card for that first room again from the double spawn. Oh, we're getting three wolves. <laughs> and, oh, no. Now we're toast. Now we are toast, I think. Well, we thought that before. Um, but... Okay. So... I was here. So I moved for free. Then one, two, three. I could shoot in for one. I don't know what I'm going to... One die. Hit a walker. That's all well, I mean, it's all I can do. Yep, or I just move. But this guy's going to be... That might be okay, too. I don't know. This guy can't... That guy's going to die. Yeah, because the wolves are going to do... One and then they'll each attack for two total, so that's four hits coming. Well, he'll on that block. Spot. So tough is it it's from just the each? First one it says. It's not from each. Read. Uh, the tough. Survivor, the survivor ignores. ignores the first wound they receive from a single zombie every zombie phase. So yep. it'll only block one. So he'll die. Yep. He'll die, or I leave her there to take one of them. So maybe I have to do that. And that's assuming no extra, extra activation. <sighs> yep. Well. Backpack. No. She just has a torch in her yeah, backpack. Yeah, I just have a torch in which, there. Which isn't helpful right now. Yeah, it's I only searched. if you're holding it, it helps you with searching. Uh, okay. Well, let's roll one. She's going to stay there and. Yep. I don't know. I got one. Almost got orange. Yeah. Okay. That's me. Zombies. So done, yep. So, so the wolves. So that's they're gonna that's six hits total, I think, right? So they'll move in one and then they each attack one each is three, attack is Okay, three. so he blocks one, so that's five hits I'm taking. Yeah, I think so it's a I think so. so five one, two someone will die. Yeah. Oh my 
god. Alright, um... And Necromancer, he has to spend an action to leave, right? Yeah. Okay. So he's... Who... Hopefully he doesn't go. Who should I let leave? <laughs> Maybe if I let William leave, then we'll go back to yellow. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad <laughs> thing. No, and now he doesn't have the bow anymore. Yeah, so I got I think... rid of that. So William will take three plus the one that he blocks. So four of the six, and Nellie's going to take two. I'm going to have no characters left. I'm going to be watching Rob play. Yeah, I'll give you one. <laughs> it's okay. It's oh, okay. I'm not going to live that long. Okay. Uh, so this guy is toast. So we're back to yellow. Because, like, wait till we open this room. It's going to spawn so much, we're going to run out of zombies, and then they're going to act activation, activation, activation. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I don't know how we're still alive. But. All right. So we're back spawning in yellow, starting up there. One runner. Up there. Um, really? One runner in orange? Yellow. Orange is oh, gone. Oh, we're back to yellow. Sweet. Yeah, because he's oh, dead. Oh, nice. Great. <laughs> uh, necromancer. So now he's going to leave. Boom. He leaves. This becomes standard. Yep. I'll do that one last. Uh, this one is one runner. Okay. Uh, that one is three walkers. <laughs> one two three okay and then this one in here that is now an official one is oh gosh all walkers get an extra activation <laughs> yeah bye bye Nelly. they do yeah so nelly's dead yeah nelly's dead mel's out i'm out uh so these guys feeding frenzy these guys move in with Ooh. them uh the walkers that are in here go here uh, this walker goes here. These walkers come here. Did we move these ones? I don't know. I don't I, think I so, actually, anything. because... Yeah, yeah, so they should be there. This guy... Uh, they would split, I think. Because you need one more? No, no, actually, they go... The most noise was, was here. here. Yeah, sure, look at this one. And then these guys, those ten all come out. And then those were here. So they'll move again. Yeah. And then these guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> hey, Nick. <laughs> hey, Nick. Oh, gosh. We're doing terribly here. Definitely. Okay, so it's all you. Because uh, only you left. All right, sure. Uh, well, go. girls go first, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too you crap. No, no, but this squares. is part of the fun of Zombicide. You just, like, pile them in mountains and just, like, shove them around the board. Like, <laughs> like it doesn't even matter. I think we have pictures of them yeah, on yeah. top of each other and how can we manage it. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. So, well, I'm just going to do a run this way. So, uh, Buddy here is going to pick up this. Oh. Uh, so, five experience, goes up to eight, gets his extract action. He needs a vault weapon. You have them right up there. Random vault weapon. Something good. You need something good here. Something that can mow down zombies, not the shield thing. I think there's a shield that's like. Not what I need right now. Yeah, you only have eight walkers left unless they're in another. Uh, I got the shield. Oh. Where it gets uh, armor rolls against abomination attacks. And if it's a four plus for a shield. That sucks. That does what do suck. the other ones do? Yeah, two dice, four plus, three oh, damage. Yeah, heavy, that's what you need. Heavy crossbows is what I was hoping for abomination killing. That's like what you need against wolf guy. Mr. Wolf abomination. Inferno, that's a great one. We love that one. That's fun. Yeah. And the Orcish crossbow, melee weapon, also yeah. ranged. It's the same, damage. similar to the... Yeah. yeah, but nope, I didn't get that. I got the super one. I don't like this one at all. Uh, it's not, not what I like playing, but yeah, just a big dwarven shield. So, sure, buddy. Okay, so that was him just picking that up. Yep. So he's got three more actions. Mm. He'll search. Okay. Oh, there you go. Hand crossbow. I think this was a reloading one, right? Yeah, one uh, action yeah. for each reload, free and end phase. Two dice, three plus, one damage. Eh. Eh. Can't you put the shield here? Oh, no, it's in no, his hand. No, no. Oh, okay. okay. Not, it's not a body that, slot thing. It's not that kind of. So he can hold a crossbow there instead. But that doesn't help me either. Hmm. Hmm. 
This is the wolf, guys. I don't know. Shouldn't have searched with him, but maybe. Well, he's not going to really do much out there. Yeah, he's going to hold the hand crossbow. Uh, out there, he will move one out. And yeah, well, it's zero to one space. Yeah, it's so useless. But he's going to go here anyway. Oh, yep. these are all good. Oh, right? sorry, sorry. No, it's all good. Uh, so he'll just go there and he'll just leave his. Actually, I'll just leave my greatsword. Yeah, yeah, I won't do that. Uh, okay. Mm, or. No, no. He's going to stay there. Okay. Uh, so Rocco. Standing right here. We can probably move this so you can yeah, reach it now. Yeah, he's going to start firing. Two dice at a time. He's an orcish bow. Two dice, three plus. Plus on this space. It can go one to three range away. Okay. Two. Uh, so that hits walkers first. Oops. Yeah. Two experience. Oh, is that in there? Yeah. Uh, two experience up to nine. And that was action one? Yep. Okay. Two more. Two more. That was action two. To 11 experience. <sighs> yes. And then the final action. There you go. Two more. That was good. I know some of them are confusing. Yeah, it's because they're like uh, <laughs> zombie versions of their uh, like other guys and stuff, I think. Problem is, three wolves are still here. Uh, yeah, oh, but now green guy come out. Doran. And take One, two. Jeez, that's not enough. Two actions to shoot. That's four dice only. Still only gets through walkers. And then he'll get eaten alive by wolves. What if you switch from there? If you switch, you still have two shots. So he moves out for one. He switches. Orcish. And you still have two shots. Maybe you'll get to yellow. Or, I'm sorry, orange. What does orange give you? I don't want to do this. Yeah, you know what? Um, here, you can have... Hammer. Power wave. Backpack. Mana blast doesn't matter. Uh, if I give this guy the orcish bow, problem is he's not in orange yet, but he will be. But then we're done. Like spawning here is gonna be insane. I know. Okay, so that's second action. Now two more, I think, right? Yep. So he gets the fire down there again. Same problem though. Just doesn't just further away. That's left full of hits. Uh, yeah. So one experience. Yep. Maybe. Sixteen. Two. Yes. And okay. Two more. Does that put you in orange? Nope. Just eighteen. <sighs> Eleven. No, no, I don't want to be in orange right oh, now. Oh, I know, but I thought it might give you something. But what, and I do. I can put on the axe of carnage we've been holding, and and add an additional success on each melee action. Resolve this weapon. Four dice, four plus two damage. Mm -hmm. And this one opens doors without uh, without a die roll. Oh, nice, nice. But. Uh, yeah, it's it's not equipable yet. Uh, Michael was asking, which is better expansion, Wolfborg or Friends or Foes? Uh, Friends or Foes, I literally opened it yesterday <laughs> yeah. uh, for the first time. We have it, uh, but I would vote Wolfsburg. Okay. I think. But I don't know. I hate these wolves, man. And you, you in each expansion, I think you only get a handful of characters. I don't know which characters are better, but I have not played with the friends and foes that has companions where you can start with little dogs and, and stuff and, yeah. and we can each have companions running around with us. And what else does it add? It adds um, a different zombie that like blood splats back on you when you hit them or whatever. <laughs> One of those stupid things they had in modern Zombicide. Uh, if I got Zombicide, this is the one I was looking at. Successful game. Yeah, this is the most popular yeah. one. Uh, the mm -hmm. fantasy like Black Plague slash Wolf's Wolf's expansion for Black Plague, but it's all still the same fantasy theme. I would start with Black Plague. Don't start with Green Horde. Green Horde's also fantasy theme and standalone. I don't think it's as good. But it's fine to buy as an expansion later to add more stuff in if you want. But I would probably just go Black Plague, get Wolfsburg. And if you played all those scenarios, you're still having fun, then I would grab like friends or foes, add that in too. But that also does bring in some stuff from Green Horde. 
because that, that brings in the hedges and the watering holes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Spencer has the original on prison break and can't buy any more until he finishes painting the minis. Yeah, I'm <laughs> one of those. That's okay. Ah, that's smart. Yeah, yeah. You're fine. That You're fine. You don't need to buy any more zombicides. One, you play one, you play them all. Yeah. Really, it's like... Yeah, they are all the same. They just throw in a different twist yeah, different on what twist, the zombie different does. Different theme, yeah. They fix yeah. up rules a bit, but you can yeah. always house rule, right? Uh, okay. Okay. So that was that. Uh, they're all done. Facing down, surrounded here. Uh, so these guys are going to go. So, so I'm going to divvy up three hits. Yeah. So one, two, three. So they're all okay. one hit away from dying. dragon battle going that square up there is where that's going okay up there we what color are you yellow right yellow yes all runners get an extra activation so there is a runner here one two and one two okay and here all walkers get an extra activation uh oh <laughs> well 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 <laughs> yep. Okay. Then this one. That's what I did too. Every time we buy a new Zombicide, like I did it with standard Zombicide. Uh, I did it with Invaders. Uh, getting it on Kickstarter, they give you an extra like pack of zombies just to add. But they always sell the expansions just to add like a handful of zombies. And I totally recommend buying that. And they do that on purpose. That whole rule is just to sell more zombies. So what I would say is don't do that rule. If you don't want to buy be forced to spend money, just don't erase that rule out of your memory, your book. <laughs> like if, if you draw the card, just let it, let it go, let it go. But yeah, I can see why it makes it harder because more zombies just keep coming and coming. It thematically makes sense. But I did the same thing where I was like, man, we played so much original zombie side. I was like, I need to buy the extra zombies because we keep running out and you can just buy more zombies. So you don't, you never run out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I like, just throw all your zombie expansions together. Yeah, that's what I do now. We just have the expansions, so now I don't I don't bother, but I didn't know there was gonna be more. Late to the party, but hello Akrish, how's it going? Hello, hello. Akirish. Alright. Okay, so this one we're going here. Starcrawler terrain for Four invader? Wolves. No, I have not. I'm sure it looks Star amazing. No. There's lots of sick terrain for these this games. Is four. Four wolves. Right in yellow, yep. Sure. Okay, and last one is right here. One runner. Really? Yep. Okay. Okay. I can't wait to spawn this room if we get there. <laughs> I don't think I will though. Well, I don't know if I you don't can get I don't think I'm getting this. out of this spot. Okay. Let's just do like so, that so you know what's going on. So. Oh, or, um, I forgot this guy can roll against stuff, right? Uh, yeah. He's Adam K in the Discord, in our Discord. Oh, hi. Oh, okay, I get it, I get oh, it, I get it. Oh, <laughs> hello, Adam. Hello, Sorry. hello. Okay. It's so confusing with multiple I usernames know. That, on multiple That's platforms. why Mello was asked. When someone comes in Discord, they have a totally different <laughs> username, and then they'll have a different name than they use on Patreon, so I'm trying to match those up and trying to figure who that is, and then they are different than who's chatting in the chat, so it's like, oh, okay. man, I don't know half the time. Putting it together, now we got it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Yeah, because I could have been rolling four plus against hits, so I'll do that going forward. But you, oh, do I, it right now for that one hit mm -hmm. that you took. Well, I took them in other guys. The other guys took him instead of him because he was one away. So just do it now. It's fine. You no, it before. but if I miss, he's dead. Oh, I see. So I don't want to risk it right okay. now. But I thought of it. I'm like, maybe I should just let him take the, take them and see how far yeah. I can get. But then I would lose the character. Okay. Okay. All right. So he is going to roll his great sword. Five dice. Five plus. Here we go. Okay, come on. Gonna Five plus. He's going to hold his sword out and spin Swing in a circle. Around. He's just going to spin in a circle and see what he can shred. One, two, three. All right, so I will choose Wolfies as my targets. Okay, that's three. The hex is wrong. That was one action, yep. right? One of How many four. Times can you do? Okay, four. You might be good. I know. One. Runner. Yes. So I'm not adding it. That's four I got, so up to 12. Okay, that was two actions. Two. Two more. I'll take them away. 14. 
Okay. And there we go. We got again. one more. Right? That was three. Ooh, no one. Uh, no good on that. was fine. still good. Yeah, I know. All right. Cleared all that out. Like. Rocco. No, let's do Orcish Bow Guy. Is he going to shoot at the wolves? Mm hmm. Didn't think of that. Uh, yeah, he might as well. Uh, okay. Two dice, three plus at the wolves down the hall there. Both. Two of them. Two. Yes. All right. So now he is in orange. So he is going to take, I guess, plus one die to magic. Yeah, so, so. What's the other one? Spellbook, which Can I assume is like something he can use spells. spells out of his backpack or something probably. Uh, all combat spells and enchantments in the survivor's backpack are considered equipped in hand. Yeah, With this that. skill, a survivor could effectively be considered to have several combat spells and enchantment cards equipped in hand. For obvious reasons, they can only use two identical dual combat spells at the same time. <laughs> Choose any combination of two before resolving actions or rolling. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now, that was his first? That was his first. So he'll do it again. <sighs> Miss. He'll do it again. It's, it's one. one. Now, do you, should you go for the zombies now? Yeah, yeah. In He's going to go in the space just doing melee. Two dice, three plus. Gets one. Okay. And you got the two more experience from those two? Yep. Bumped up. All right. Uh, now, Rocco. I guess just does a melee weapon. So short sword or hammer, I guess, whatever. They're both one die, four plus. Yes. Got it. Go. 13. Has one. How many more actions does he have? Three? Yep. I know how badly you just want to run. I know, but then he but just then... gets killed by this guy. But he could one, two, and swing on him. Could he actually take something from someone else for an action? Yeah. And he then... Yeah, he absolutely should. Because he has a better shot, right, of killing it and nobody yep. taking any damage. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, but you also have this abomination that's going to be in your space. Oh, I forgot this guy equips this now. I'll do a trade where these guys will... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. It's extra activations that are going to kill me once that happens. I know. Um, we just had two in a row, so maybe we won't. And we, you just fill, like half-filled our walkers. <laughs> okay. There's a rearranged trade action, whatever. Okay. okay, so then you should have one more. So you can do two, right? Yep. Three plus? Yep, firing on this wolf. Got it. Wolf. Dang. Okay. Fifteen. Oh. So that is, uh, you traded. No, you attacked the guy there, traded, fired, has one more. I don't know, I'm sure. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. So movements here. <sighs> burr, burr. 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 All right. Where did this guy come from? Uh, over here. Oh. Right. Doesn't he go? Yeah, move, yeah, yeah. Move? I didn't even realize the door's open already. Okay. So up in the top, double spawn. So we're gonna double spawn here. For a necromancer in a double spawn. So a... Right here, I got necromancer. Oh, okay, I was going to say. Just need a spawn it. point. Okay. Oh. Yeah, things have been looking bleak since like, uh, yeah. Like. A couple turns in. Yeah. Of the game. <laughs> okay, this is for the necromancer, not the double spawn. This is two runners. I thought the stream was going to be real short today. Yeah. Either short, good, or short, bad, but. Okay, double spawning here. One fatty and three walkers. One fatty and three walkers. Okay, right there by you. Please be good. Oh, wolf, wolf thing. <laughs> wolf abomination right between me and where we Is need that to this go. Thing? No, it's the guy with arm up. Yeah. Okay. He's back. We burned him Dang alive, it. but he's back. Somebody needs to like run him this way. So then Too can... late. No, there you can't do anything. We're, and then we're here. trapped. We're trapped. Is two wolves. Two wolves. <laughs> We're done, son. I think so. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. All right. Here we go. Good luck. Surprise, no extra activations there to just wipe me out. No. I can't believe I'm still alive after that. Okay. So. Oh, my God. Well. You needed that wolf to be somewhere else. I know, just behind us. Any other spawn point, really. Yeah. Just behind, like down here somewhere, so I could run away. All right. Uh, great sword. Gonna swing in this spot. Hopefully kill everything except for the big guy. Got it. You got two. Two of them. Oh, I thought there was only two. 16. No, one left still. So you can do it one more time, but then I don't know yeah. where you're going. Just out of the space. Oops, five dice. Now it looks weak, yes. One, right. two, three, four. Oh, Holy, that. that's a good roll. Okay, 17. You almost want to bring your guys back through here and let that thing go one of the ways and then... Yeah, whatever. Okay, so this guy moves in here with his last two actions. Now... An additional success... Add an additional success on each melee action resolve with this weapon. Then he also gets plus one die. No, it's still this better. Okay. Four actions. Boom. Boom. Doesn't work. No, I so this guy's just going to move out for two. You can search in there if you care. No. But you might get a zombie. Because <laughs> there's n other than the torch and the bile, there's nothing else that will kill these guys. Yeah, sure. Search. Short sword. <laughs> Womp, womp. Womp, womp. Okay. Uh, and then... Does he have another action? This guy's done, right? No, he's gone. No, he's just started. Just these two. Does this guy have another action? Yeah. But, like, yeah. Yeah, he's not going to step out in the street and fire. No. I thought of that already, but he's trapped. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, so now, Rocco. I... So, one... Two, three. Or one. Hold no, on. If he, he kills stuck. this guy, oh. he can't. Runner's behind Abomination. Yep. Yeah. So if he goes in, and then it's three moves to get out. Then he's stuck there and he gets eaten. True. Does not have enough to get away. Yeah, he's trapped by these wolves here too, just waiting. Yeah. They're just waiting for someone to come in. No, I think Arr. he goes in here. Yes, this guy will come. One. This will block. Two, three. Search. Oh, there you go. A leather, little bit of... Leather armor, you say. <laughs> leather armor. Five plus rolls on hits. This is Rocco. So Rocco's wearing some armor. Sure. John says, I'm not sure, but I don't think that sword, short sword <laughs> no. will help in this situation. I don't think that's what I needed. No. No, I don't think I need this crabby starter short sword at this point in the game. Yeah. This is another thing I don't like about Zombicide is a random deck. Like, if you see good things right off the bat, it's such a different playthrough than if you see nothing and you don't get certain things. Sometimes you get like Dragon Battle together so fast. and That's true. Sometimes you don't see it the whole game. All right. Same oh, thing as Dark Souls' problem with their item deck. All right. Okay. I'm done. You're done? So we're going to move zombies. Sure. So these guys, I think, one, two, and one, two. These guys are going to split. So I don't even know how many we have. Two, four... Two, four, oh, there's a runner coming in. One and one. So split? Yep. So two runners. Well, he's, no, he's fine. I know. Give, what? No, no, another runner would come in this way. So give me a runner. They were here. So he splits. I don't think they split if they make it to the same space. Like their ending goal is the same space. Well, I thought it was equal distance to get to it. They start splitting. But sure. Okay. It could be wrong. No, I thought that if their yeah, that. if their end goal was the same space both ways, then you wouldn't split. But I don't know. Okay, then these guys are going in here. Well, because remember each action is done separately, yeah, right? You're so right, the you're first right. action move, you would have to split, then you do a second action. Yeah, you're right. One, two. Okay. Now this is the yeah, he one, goes. two. And then so this one, is one, two, nice. three. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Two abominations in my space is over. Because we're getting extra cavation. These guys These all, all moved. moved. And the wolves. Okay. So up there. You're still in yellow here? Uh, no, orange. Orange. Let's get her done. Necromancer. Where is this He's guy? on here somewhere. Right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that was that one. This one. Two He's... here. So we're going to do one, four walkers. One, two, three, four. 
<laughs> and then for the necromancer one, we're going to do three fatties. So the second edition. edition. I don't know. Is that the Is new there? Zombicide that they kickstarted? That's like, like last year's oh. Kickstarter, I think. I've lost track. There's way too many Zombicides. I need to stop with that <laughs> stuff. But uh, this was uh, Black Plague slash Wolfsburg that came out. This is a fantasy themed one. Goodbye, heroes. You will be remembered. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I think second this is... edition is like modern theme. This is like fantasy theme. I think Michael knows this is going to be the last round, Oh, this I is think. so done. Necromancer. Really? These guys in the next activation? So he's going to keep walking to yep. his goal over here. That was this one. This one here. We're going to get four walkers. Run! <laughs> one, two, three, four. These, need like smoke grenade. Just these drop These four it and get are out. going there. Yep. And then the last one. Oh, if he actually does get it, we have six spawns, I think, on the board. Double spawn. So now we're going back up to the top. <laughs> I hate the double spawns. That's the worst thing. Yeah, yeah. Three runners and a double spawn. <laughs> one, two, three. Those that are going stupid. in the top. So now we're back here for a double spawn. A double spawn and five wolves. One, two, three, four, five. I'll fix that in a second. Then double spawn to here. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a fatty and two fatties. So three fatties total. <laughs> One, two, three. Holy moly. Look at all these cards for one That's activation. I know, the double spawn I hate stupid. the double spawns. And having multiples together. All right. Uh, so none of them extra activation attacked me there and killed me. All right, interesting. Okay. So Time to die in a spectacular no, death. No, never. <laughs> never. No gatherings to go away crowds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Social distancing. Back oh. off. Two two meters apart. Go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to fix all these dogs that are nah, in here. Whatever. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, can't really do any. Oh, the Axe of Carnage. We're using that for sure, but it's still only two damage. Four dice, four plus, two damage. Add an extra. What's the most action so we can get it? So you don't have four actions. This guy gets plus one die roll to melee, plus one free inch, and max range. Yeah, none of these guys I picked are super efficient where they get an orange and they can keep us going. Uh, I just did them for like picked guys that I've never played before, but uh, there are guys that are just much better. Like, uh yeah all right kind of sucks because even when you get out you jump into a crowd I, I know i know at this point that's okay so what we're gonna do is i need to get that necromancer here. so in the space uh this is going to be the axe of carnage it's gonna be doran the green yep uh four dice and we add an additional success on top of this melee action business what are you rolling for uh four plus Got two. two. Well, it kills these so, two runners. That's all that matters. Okay. Uh, let's go to 24 experience. Okay. So that's one action. Now he's going to spend three to get out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Rocco is going to spend three to get out. And he's just going to roll... With his orcish bow, some melee action, two dice, three plus. Got one. One. So, Necromancer, you dead, son. Okay, and uh, we'll just spawn. I'll remove this one. Okay. <laughs> so, so that, that one becomes one. normal. Yeah, I'll flip that one. We <laughs> clear that over. Uh, and okay. Then I go up one. All right, so he's going to do it again. Oh, wait. Oh, I you don't just think three he has. Out, so that's it. Yeah. Okay, Gregor, three actions. Now in this spot, he's going to swing his great sword. Oh. But it's not that great. Um, well. Five dice, five plus. If he can get two kills, he can get plus one damage melee. But that's only Too one late. damage melee weapon. I know. Yeah, if he could get the hammer, then he can kill abominations. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Um, or the axe of carnage. Oh. All right, so we're just going to roll this and see what we can kill here. You're looking for five plus? Five plus. One. We got one. You get the runner at least. Yeah, runner's dead. He goes up to 18. Uh, and that's it, right? Yep. 
Damn. That's uh, that's uh, be it. All right. Okay, so their activation. So, so uh, five zombies here first. Uh, we're gonna some, deal with. You have some armor too yeah. on the other guy. Well, I'm gonna do this four plus over and over again with Gregory. So okay. let's or Gregor, or whatever his name is. One. Blocks one. Blocks two. two. I don't even know. Hey, is this one? I don't know. Three. Three. Four. One more. Wah. So he takes one damage. Gregory's dead. Okay. But all those hits are done. So, but then we got runners yeah. coming in. So two more hits, but the other guy rolls on five plus. These two coming in. Yep. We'll do the runners first. Five plus for run. Well, they're not. The guys aren't attacking. Oh, the wolf will. Yeah. So dead. And the last guy. Dead. Did he have armor? Nope. Oh, so he's he was just dead, dead anyways. They're all just dead. Oh my god, that ah! was terrible. <laughs> well, this wasn't a waste of time. You did fill some zombie bellies. <laughs> <laughs> we lasted longer than I thought. That stream went a lot longer. I thought we were done way quicker. I thought we all would have just died. Even just the rule with one person dying, it's over kind of idea. Uh, I feel like it went longer. I thought everyone would be dead faster than that. Just based on what was happening. We still had like barely any weapons. But getting two vault weapons is helpful, but if it was one of these other ones, like the crossbow is three damage, or this four dice, four plus spell, two damage, yeah. like things like that just would have helped clear crowds, or if our searches were a little better. But the thing is, we didn't keep it in blue at the beginning. That turned on everything. We got the wolf abomination really quick because of that. Yeah. It was just too much. Yeah, and having both abominations at the same time. Oh my yeah. gosh, that was tough. Yeah, I can't believe we lasted that long, but... We did have all the objectives. We just had to get out, but yeah. there was... We I think this is easy if you just, like, open a door, you know. Sometimes you don't spawn anything in that case. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a walker. But, yeah, in this case, sometimes it's a couple wolves. And you try to get your things, your uh, objectives, but you got to spread them out because you don't want anyone to bump up. But then anyone who grabs an objective, if, they're, if they kill, like, one or two more zombies, we're in yellow. Yeah. So that's the problem. We got in yellow at like the first room we opened, which was not right. And we know this. We know this from Invader. I remember this happened. Yeah. Kyle, I remember he came over. We played like the first scenario or the second scenario or something. I remember we got rocked because we did that. We were just like, yeah, break down door. Get awesome weapon. I'm going to kill everyone with this one guy. And this one guy kept going all the way to orange. Everyone else is still in blue. You're just going to get shredded in that case. Not, everyone doesn't have enough actions to do anything. Yeah. That was my fault. Yes. And this... But see, this is Wolfsburg. This is the expansion that's meant to be a challenge. This is supposed to be a step up in difficulty. So even though it does say easy scenario, the fact you have to play with wolves and wolf abominations... It, Which are it, more difficult. It definitely bumps it up, yeah. right? Because it's like runners plus one. Like it's Runners already give people a run for their money. So just imagine adding in runners with an additional action. Yeah. And coming in groups. Like it seemed like all the wolves ne never just spawned like one wolf. It was no. always more than one. Which yeah. is crazy. Maybe because of the level that we were spawning in, yeah. but... I don't know. But that's fine. This yeah. is fine. Um, yeah, I just think we just didn't handle that basic aspect of keeping keeping the threat low for, yeah. for as long as we can in the first little area and then let then ramp it up once we open like maybe the first or second area, like the rooms. Black Orchestra. I, I've seen that game, but I don't know anything about it, I don't know Michael. That game. Um I, th I remember it has like a theme that interested me. I don't yeah. remember what it is though. Is it like World it. War II themed or something? Like, I forget what that game is about. But I, I picture the cover. It's like black and red and stuff. I, I remember looking at it or looking into it. Hmm. I just don't remember anything about it. I'll have to look. I don't know that game. <laughs> but it's no Black Plague, I guess. It's, uh... <laughs> Bernardo <laughs> says, I had Zombicide, ended up trading it, was not a fan. Black Orchestra is about... Oh, I see why I blocked oh. your thing. Yeah, it's about killing Hitler. I get it. Okay. It's good. Oh, I'll have to look into that. That's interesting. Is it similar to this? Like, is it... Is it minis, minis on, on a map, board? rolling dice? Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to look at that. Yeah. So we have no plans to play it right now because we don't own it. Conspirators. Hmm. Interesting. Definitely something so it does have a World War II connection then. <laughs> <laughs> I was right on that, that that aspect of it. You got him curious. Yeah. <laughs> Black Orchestra. 
I love all your recommend recommendations that you guys give us in the chat. Yeah, because they see what we play. They know, yeah. like, hey, if you like this, you should check out that. Yeah, because some of them you just don't hear about. Yeah. 474, 7.5. Okay. Thematic, 94. Is that out of 100? Out of all games. Like, oh, out it's of all the 94th games. Oh, okay. on the list. Wow. Not the highest, but 474 is, like, pretty decent. Came out in 2016? Yeah, it's been on a while. Game mm -hmm. Salute? Mm. Game Salute. Cooperative game by Philip Duberry. Interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Isn't that going? What? <laughs> People use a little card. It's like uh, the one from Everdell where it's just like oh, take, take pictures picture and put it on win? social media when you win. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to see any good pictures here, but <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Here's your mission right there. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. That's I want to see uh, mechanisms, action points, co op game, dice rolling, die action resolution, hand management. Also a solo game. Spies and Secret Agents. Hmm. 2016, that's weird. I heard about it, but I just never... Oh, yeah, I'll watch this three-minute video. Give me the, oh, yeah, the yeah. rundown. Yeah. For sure. Okay, cool. Successful well. Geek says, also, I just bought Ethnos, ugly game, but supposed to be fun, but it was $10, so couldn't resist. We just played that. Ethnos is awesome. It's yeah. so worth 10 bucks. We just played that on the stream. Yeah, like, two that was one, on one of our Patreon streams yeah. that, that was voted for. We played it on Thursday night stream like two or three weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, very fun. We like that game. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that game. Yeah. I used to bring it to work to like teach non gamers what board games could be and like get them to wrap around the table for an hour at lunchtime. Mm hmm. Ten bucks, that's a good price for yeah, that. Yeah, very good price. Yeah. That's like a quality game. Uh, yeah, where did you get it for you get ten bucks? Yeah, people are asking now. Uh, where are we here? Super thematic event cards are related to real events. That's for the black orchestra that you were just looking at. Um, Freedom Railroad I know is very good. That was a game I remember watching demoed at Gen Con that year it came out and was like Yeah. Yeah, it looks awesome. It's like it's historically accurate and uh what else was about it? But it's just about the Underground Railroad, and like, yeah, I heard it's amazing. Like, very well done game. Hmm. Very great theme tied to mechanics and stuff. Do you have Cthulhu Wars or Nemesis? If yes, will you play it or already played it? I don't have Cthulhu Wars. No. Nope. That was the one I was showing you the other day. Yeah. Peterson Games, right? Yeah, that we were one. Just looking at that. Uh, and Nemesis. Nemesis, we are interested. I in. want Nemesis, but you can't find Nemesis anywhere. Yeah. I don't know if they're ever going to do another print run or what, but they're now going to do another Kickstarter for some other Nemesis game. I don't know. I'm not sure. I want a Nemesis before because, like, I like the sci-fi theme. Mel likes the hidden trader mechanic stuff from Dead of Winter. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I like that. It, it looks awesome, but I just I have never been even seeing it anywhere in stock or anywhere to buy other than, like, the secondary market selling stupid giant Kickstarter bundles for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Yeah. But if I could find that at retail, I probably would have got it. I uh, reached out to Awakened Realms, but uh, got nothing back from that. So um, we'll see. Uh, Marcus, what's up, guys? Say hello to your Brazilian audience, me. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> oh, and then something in another language. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> can't be the only Brazilian person that watches this. No, no way. You can't be. No way. But maybe. No. Oh. Who's Brazilian that you think? There was somebody. We used to watch my Game of Thrones videos. Uh, it wasn't Marcos. Uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, I can't It'll remember the username now. But there was someone, but that was years ago. Um, uh, the new Nemesis is supposed to improve the roles, and I think it will include another print run. Oh, oh okay. Okay, okay. So by then I should have Nemesis in like two years? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, no. Uh, Buell got Nemesis that someone turned into my uh, friendly local game store. Oh. It was with two expansions. Oh, that's Yeah, because Nemesis isn't for everyone. That I know. Like, it looks pretty and crazy and everything, but I can see some people just not liking the game itself. 
Um, but it does have awesome minis and like good game design. Bernardo, FYI, says, <laughs> I ended up buying all of Too Many Bones and I blame you. Ah, I understand. You're not the only person that sent me messages and complained to me about that. <laughs> I apologize to wallets everywhere, but I'm glad I could share some of these great games and, and show them off For to people sure. that, that didn't know about them and yeah. get them interested in some of them. But I also, I also love the fact that if I show off a game and people are like, no, this is not for me. I feel equally as good about it because I feel like that's my job is show you these games that I'm interested in. Maybe they, they work for you, maybe they don't. But if you're here and you learn something from it, saved you some money or, you know, we talk about some different game and get you interested in that instead, then it's great. Uh, Tiago's here. Okay. Oh, All right. he's Brazilian too. We got a whole Brazilian crowd now. We got, we got yeah. a huge fan base there, obviously. Nice. <laughs> Two people now. Yes. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Akrich, which is Adam, he's playing, uh, is playing Too Many Bones right now. That's awesome. Uh, Successful Geek, Geek says, I'm adding the Trove, Too Many Bones Trove, on my Cloudspire gameplay all in. And Gilly, maybe also 40 days. Whoa. <laughs> well, origami Artist and Origami Artist 3.0. He's using two accounts here. He gets to ask the same question because we didn't answer Sorry, we didn't the get there time. yet. We didn't get there Yeah, yet. we're still getting there. Origami, you got to slow down. Uh, I love Zombicide. You do? I'm, su I'm surprised. <laughs> uh, and asking, will you continue Wolfsburg missions? Uh, I would maybe. We might continue them. We'll see. Um, I mean, it was fun. It is fun to play this game again. I'll, I'll admit it. That was fun. Even though we we're messing up rules, we're well, totally bad while. at the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need Kyle back. Yeah, we'll definitely play again when Kyle comes or back. Or Justin. We need Kyle Justin, and yeah. or Justin to help us. Um, but it is something that maybe we could throw in here and there. And we have never played Hexplore it, but we've had it's been brought up to us many times. Uh, I need to look into it to find out if it's something I'm interested in playing. But uh, I wouldn't say never is never. I've bought games that are years old and, and found, fell in love with them and brought them to the channel. So I'm not all about the, the new hotness. So We got another Brazilian fan, Eduardo. What? What is going Whoa. on here? What is going on here? See all your curses <laughs> on Seventh Continent. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. That's awesome. That is amazing. You guys are awesome. Around the world. Yeah. Gaming together. <laughs> Yeah, wow. I love the internet for that. And one, oh, one check, check guy. guy. Here. Cool, oh, welcome. Nice. Oh, I should have known the CZ, right? That's uh Well, I guess how would you know? It's like that the two letters for Yeah, true. Yeah. Like yeah, it could just be initials, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's we're crazy just that... we're just playing a Czech game earlier today, right? So that's uh Czech well, we design. We were playing it earlier today, but we I mean premiered premiering today. Uthia earlier today, which yeah. was designed by a Czech designer. Any plans to play real-time games like Pandemic, Rapid Response, or Kitchen Rush? Uh, we have one real-time game. It is Escape Curse oh, of the I love Temple. It. I Mel love loves it. it. <laughs> I love rolling dice. <laughs> she wanted me to play it, put it on our Patreon <laughs> poll, and I've avoided doing that yeah. because I want to save it for doing on a 24-hour live stream. Yeah. Because that's like a perfect game to play when we're like tired and loopy, just to be like rolling dice with the, the app playing music and counting down a timer, and we're just like yelling out stuff and going silly i don't know how well that would go on stream but uh, we did play it on camera there is a video yeah but it. it's not it's, it wasn't it good it was like our it, old it, yeah setup. you couldn't even tell like what was really going on yeah for science oh science for science is a real-time game i saw that email about that game but uh yeah i don't know i don't know about that one but real-time games are okay i like them what's another one there's another one that's like building a spaceship what's that one called i was looking at that one before to get one real-time game back when i was getting like escape there's one of those ones, like, it's a popular game where you're, like, rolling dice trying to put your, or maybe it's, like, tokens. You're trying to, like, build a spaceship. Um, uh, I don't know. Is it Race for the Galaxy? I think Race for the Galaxy is what I'm thinking of. And then there's, like, Roll for the Galaxy was a dice version. I think that's re real time. That one I kind of looked at, but then I was like, I don't know. Real time doesn't work well on YouTube, I don't think. But they're fun. Like, they're fun to play, like, drinking with families and stuff. Space Tram, maybe? Space, space alert? alert? Yeah, maybe it's Space Alert. Space something. Isn't, yeah. like, when you consider, like, the exit games and unlocked games, like, where you're using the app as a timer, when you call them real-time games as well, or no? Mm, I Not don't really? know. No, it's more when just everyone... Yeah, but those are because you're, everyone's doing stuff at the same time. People can be solving something over here and working yeah. with people over here and whatever, but... Yeah. And some of them you're on Teams. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, no, I don't know. Real-time yeah. games aren't really my jam at all. Um, but 
they're cool. Like, I like the idea like of them. them. But it's like most of them are played in like 10 minutes and they're over. And <laughs> it's like, uh, okay. When you have, when you have enough people, space cadets, space, space cadets, cadets would be fun to watch live. Space hmm. cadets. I don't know what that game is either. I've heard uh, of this Check it too, out. But yeah. <laughs> space cadets. 2012. Oh. This is the one that's like Star Trek theme, right? It's like not officially theme, but it's meant to be like Star Trek. Oh, Jeff Engelstein, Best yeah, but five. Engelstein family. Stronghold Games. 6.6. <laughs> uh, it's got a decent rating. 60 to 120 minutes. Oh, so it's not one of those quick, like, deduction games is what I was thinking. You are the Space Cadet. Space Cadet is a fun and frantic cooperative game for three to six players who take the roles of bridge officers of starship each officer must accomplish his specific task in order for the team to successfully complete the mission you might be the helmsman plotting the ships this sounds to me like that submarine game oh um oh the one that i wanted yes what's that real-time submarine game where you're working like on different sides of that like board wall uh, and everyone has their own different role and you're trying to find the other submarine Oh my god, I wanted this game too, and yeah, I'm I totally blanking on what the name is called. Captain Sonar. Captain Sonar, that's it. Boom. That's what I'm getting the vibe of here, just by starting to read about this. Yeah. John says he would be fine just if we played more Gloomhaven. <laughs> I would be fine seeing more Gloomhaven. <laughs> oh my god. What's Gloomhaven? Just kidding. So, Oops. we do want to play more Gloomhaven. Yeah, but we put we were going to do for, Forgotten Circles, but then we realized Forgotten Circles should be played with three or four players is what the recommendation I've been hearing and reading about many, many places online. And yeah, we can't really do that with the COVID lockdown. So we're going to wait till we can get Justin back in the in the group and out of his house playing with us. And then yeah. we'll, we'll tackle that later. But we have lots of time until Frosthaven, I'm sure. Like we yeah. have a year, so hopefully we can have other people come play with us. Uh... And Buell's fine with watching all the games we play. <laughs> I know. That's, it's hard to pick and stuff, though. It and, is. And I always want to try new things, too. Like, I like trying not necessarily brand new games, but even games like great games from the past that I missed. Yeah, we like variety. I don't know what Zombicide Black Ops is. I don't know what that is either. But I'm not sure. Um, and then, quick question here. Uh, between Zombicide and Dead of Winter, which one do you guys like the most? I like them both, but for different reasons, I think. Yeah, if I had to choose just one to play, I don't know. See, now here's the problem. You're saying between Zombicide and Dead of Winter. Now, after playing um, this War of Mine, this War of Mine, I like more than Dead of Winter. Yeah, but if it's that's not in the comparison. So, so now you're thinking Dead of Winter is garbage, throw it out? No, 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 no. I would probably pick Dead of Winter because I haven't played... Dead of Winter. Yeah, says Nick. Nick says Dead of Winter. <laughs> I haven't played Dead of Winter enough, and I feel like I could play it more. Zombicide, I feel like I've played it so many times, there's not much new to see or feel. It's like, you play with different characters, throw in a different abomination, but it's still you're playing Zombicide. Right. Dead of Winter, I feel like I haven't seen much from that Crossroads deck. I haven't played and seen a lot of the characters. I haven't seen a lot of the roles in that, the goals or whatever you get. Like, I've only played that, at, like, Dead of Winter maybe three times. Uh, you guys have played a lot more, but... Yeah, uh, I like Dead of Winter with more more people. Yeah. Where this, I can play just him and I. Yeah, Dead of Winter sucks at two players. Yeah. You can't play it solo, so you need at least three people for Dead of Winter. Yeah. But this game, you can play by yourself and still have fun. Yeah, and Ghoul's asking, do we have uh, Warring Colonies? We do. Or War of Colonies, but it's Warring Colonies. Right? Yes, we do. We do. Yes, we do. And we but played again, it, didn't we? Yes, we did have a video of that. We could only get three players at that time. Or no, four, four, four of us. Four. We got, so we yeah, played two, two versus two. two. That is something. I always want to play with more players. Yeah. But just we haven't got all the players together to do that again. Yeah, so, so once like Nick, who's in the chat right now, and Ashley can come back and But we're in colonies. I bet we could just play two player where you control one colony, I control the other, and we just go at each yeah, other. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, so... Forgotten Waters is tons of fun. I'm not sure what that is. Zombicide. So, it's... And Dragon, a... I'm totally ignoring your message there, by the way. I'm, a, I'm not even going to mention... <laughs> I'm not even going to say that game. Get out of here with that. That's not even a game. That's like uh, uh, something from a museum. They shouldn't even touch that. 
at Zombicide Room Morgue, we played... Yeah, Room Morgue, we got it. I don't think we did any videos on that, though, did I, we? I don't think so. I think we got it. We did play it. For sure, we played it. Uh, maybe twice. Played it with friends. Uh, not on camera. And then Black Plague Kickstarter came out. Just mm -hmm. like every Zombicide happens, a Kickstarter comes out. You get all excited about that. You buy it. It comes a year later. But before it even comes, usually... They're already announced or running the Kickstarter for the next Zombicide. Yeah. Especially when it is the next genre of Zombicide. You then just don't care about what you have. And they do that on purpose where they're like, this is the best Zombicide yet because we changed one rule and we now added bigger miniatures and and this thing and all this stuff. And they just like start making you not care about your old one is how I look at it. It's mm -hmm. super annoying. And then, yeah, we got Black Plague. We played the crap out of that. And then, yeah, they came out with uh, Green Horde. But I was like, oh, it's just more of the same. But then we stopped playing Black Plague because Green Horde came. And I want to play through those scenarios. And then we never got to Wolfsburg because Green Horde came too quick. And it's like, we don't just play Zombicide only, right? So we mix it in with other games and you never get through it all. So now I, I got Invader because the theme looked good. That game looked like the best designed Zombicide yet. But I purposely did not buy any expansions for it. I was like, I'm just doing Core Set. Because before you know it, literally Invader came, and they already started teasing Zombicide Second Edition coming later, like a couple months later after we got it. And but we like, didn't back that one. And purposely, I was like, "No way, no, no more Zombicide money going out out of my bank account. Get out of here." Yeah, because if I want to play it, I'll just play yeah. any of the other Zombicide. Exactly, I have. we have so much on our shelf that yeah. we haven't touched, like Rue Morgue that our gamies talking about. There is like we have never played it on video. And Invader Corset that was good. Yeah, they... Uh, it, it was fun. Orgami was saying that the uh, Black Ops was an Invader expansion. Yeah. So we don't have that one. No, I, didn't, I purposely didn't get it. And if I'm going to get it, I would just get it at retail later anyway. So yeah. Yeah, I still could get it, but... But I thought the core was fun. I actually liked Invader. Invader is very good. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought it was very well designed. They put a lot of variety in that base box. And we didn't need to even dabble into other characters yet. But I do have the stretch goal stuff, so... Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I like Invader. Invader so, is very good. Uh, we do have to finish that one with Kyle because I feel like it's incomplete, right, the series? I know, <laughs> but what's happening with our Zombicide videos, people just, like, with Invader, the problem with Cool Mini or Not, and I see it in the videos, as soon as they announce a new new Zombicide, nobody watches our Zombicide videos. So even if, like, we got Invader and we jumped into it as quick as we could, but once they announced second edition, nobody cared about Invader. Invader just fell flat. Like, in views, just nobody cared about our videos. So I just stopped. I just stopped playing. I was like, no, we're not playing Zombicide Invader anymore because nobody's watching them. Like, people watched, like, the first couple and they were like, oh, this is Zombicide, but just with the space theme. Okay, I'm good. And they just don't watch after that. Mm -hmm. People with Black Plague, they were watching our whole playthrough and stuff. Yeah, or Gammy, I know you'll watch, <laughs> but that's that's one. I know. But it's like... And, I mean, now that we're doing them live, people might yeah, watch we'll do. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get back to some Zombicide but for sure live I think in the future. So. Yeah. But it's just um, not a priority. Just based on views and, and people's reception of Zombicide nowadays is not what it used to be. The industry is, like, kind of moving past Zombicide, right? Yeah. And especially with Cool Mini not doing the stuff they're doing where they're like, hey, here's Zombicide 2.0 Kickstarter. The day after it ends, oh, by the way... Here's Zombicide uh, Night of the Living Dead or whatever they did. Zombicide. Where it's its own Zombicide. And it's like, what? Like, mm -hmm. you just delivered Invader. And you're already like, they just forget about the last one. They just don't even care anymore. They just move on. Yeah. And I find that frustrating. Like, they don't support their old games. So that's not not good. That's true. Eduardo's asking, you already played Robinson Crusoe? Uh, we have not it. Yet. We have the original edition. I bought it used a few months back. And I haven't played it yet. I haven't played it yet. But I want to. We want to. Yeah. Uh... It's almost like Dark Side. I don't That's know another that expansion for... Oh, we don't have that yeah, one? Yeah, no. no, we don't have that one. No. What if I tell you I played Zombicide with one character and actually win? Whoa. I believe you. Good for you. I believe you. What character? I'd be curious which... Someone with Slippery, I assume. <laughs> yeah. Where you just kind of run to your goal. <laughs> oh, here's zombies coming down the hall. That's right through. true. Yeah. You use Slippery for sure. That's, all, that's the way to win. That's like the best ability. Or jump. And you're like jumping over them. Yeah. And Origami misses Kyle. Well, Aww. he can't come back right now. Yeah, so. we miss him too. Uh, Dark Side is a standalone game. We don't have that one. Oh, it's a standalone. So they, so what they did, they, they yeah, what they did oh. with Invader 
is they released the way they did Black Plague, and then they waited a year to do the Kickstarter for Green Horde. Yeah. With Invader, they said, nah, let's just do it all together. So they released, like, the base set, expansion, a Black Ops, and then the next standalone set, all in the same Kickstarter. Oh. Just because they're, like, desperate for money. Like, there's rumors out there that they're, like, they're going to go bankrupt soon. Like, they're having financial trouble. Because they're not making money from the retail games. That's uh, handled by Asmodee now. And I think they only make money off Kickstarters. So now you're going to see Cool Mary or not. Because they don't have their retail. Isn't their business anymore. Uh, so now they're going to be selling Kickstarter games. And that's how they're going to try to keep their business afloat. And they supposedly have like six projects that haven't been delivered yet. And they're already announcing like next Kickstarters. Mm. So at some point it's going to like roll upon itself. And, and they're just going to like have trouble. Especially with the COVID thing. I'm sure that's going to hurt too. Yeah. But the problem is with Kickstarter, they get their money up front from everybody. After that, if there's delays or the game isn't as good or they yeah. don't deliver it all as, as well as it was or just drop the ball, it doesn't matter. They already have your money. Very and true. the fact they have your money six or seven times in advance. So uh, I'm not down with that practice. I, I don't think that's right. Yeah. I, th I think they need to just stop. Yeah. Support their old games. Like, Support their systems, go to retail more, and yeah, do it the proper way. Support the local game store. And Onk, Onk, yeah, I bet it's not getting as much as they expected, and that's good. But this is not at the that's time. Good. Well, I it's, mean, it's the wrong time, and they're just repackaging like they're they're they they did the Rising Sun thing, which I haven't played. I own it. I did the whole crazy pledge, but yeah, um, that was supposedly just like building off the the hype of. Um, Blood Rage. Yeah. And then now Ankh is trying to build up the hype of Rising Sun, but it's like a little too late. And then now people are just kind of like getting tired of the cool mini or not like repackaging the same stuff over and over again. True. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It might be amazing. But it didn't. What I watched the demo they did at Essen or whatever, I was like, this is what you've come. This is the design. Yeah. This is the design of the game you've come to. After seeing Blood Rage and Rising Sun, like, this is what you've learned in the, in the game you've come out with? I, I I don't think it's that great. It's just another, here, buy all our awesome minis. Yeah. Uh, have you played Resident Evil, the board game? Uh, uh, I have not. No, I haven't. It, the, the reason, because I have Dark Souls board game, <laughs> and I went through that Kickstarter with Steamforge games, and I will oh, not... Oh, it's a Steamforge? Yeah. <laughs> I will not. I, it could be amazing, but I'm not touching any Steam Forge stuff. Not touching any of that. Nope. Nope. I got got my Dark Souls stuff finally all delivered after many years. And yeah, the fact you have to house rule it to make it an awesome game. That's no, I don't need to touch that stuff. Eduardo says it's boring. <laughs> thank you, Eduardo. <laughs> thank you for it. Thank but you for Kate, have you played it and do you like it? Yeah. I don't know. Dark Souls is boring too. <laughs> Dark, I like Souls, Dark Souls. Dark Souls can be boring. I agree, but I love the IP so much that it makes it makes it more fun for me. Mm. Kate says it's amazing. Oh, it's not amazing. Excuse me, it's not amazing, but fun with friends. Oh, okay. and that's what Dark Souls is. Yeah, that's what a lot of games are. I huh? like Dark Souls solo because I like the IP, but I have yeah. more fun with Dark Souls with yeah with uh, friends. And Reichbusters, uh, I've heard that's meh. I've been hearing meh about that one. Yeah. Uh, but it needs version one point five rules. That's probably because it's meh. <laughs> That's the problem. A lot of these companies focus on the Kickstarter page. And what sells a game on the Kickstarter page? Throw a bunch of buzzwords and throw a bunch of pictures of miniatures on the board. That's all you need. And, and pretty looking components. You don't have to have a great game. You can throw a rule book in there. You can throw a gameplay video. But half the gameplay videos for these Kickstarters suck. They don't even play through the full game. Uh, or they're not even playing the rules correctly. Or the rules aren't even finished and all that stuff. So... Half the time you're just buying a box full of minis and components. The gameplay is second on Kickstarter. That's the problem I don't like. I feel like companies going through retail have to actually put the play testing in and make sure the game's proper so it gets the word of mouth buzz. The problem with Kickstarter is they're selling a promise, like a not finished product, and they can get away with, we got your money. We just have to deliver the components in a box to you, and you're happy you got your product. That's all they care about. There's no incentive to make the gameplay super amazing. Obviously, if it is amazing, you'll have a better Kickstarter next time because the word of mouth will get out on that. But, right. But nowadays, it's like, as long as companies are just getting the product to you in a decent time and it looks like it did on the Kickstarter page, people are like, I'll back it again. 
I haven't even opened the box yet. I'll back your next project. Uh, uh, that's not how it should be. I don't know. I don't know. But I could be wrong. I could be just ranting and be totally off base, but I don't know. That's just how I feel. Yeah, Awaken Realm's a whole different story. Yeah. They're a whole different story so far. They've been delayed. No, it's cool that they're delayed at their fields. Awaken Realms is cool. They work with... They, when they run a Kickstarter, they let... Even during the Kickstarter, they take recommendations from the community and change the game on the fly for the better. Mm -hmm. Like, if people are like, no, that sucks, you shouldn't do it that way, or this rule is wrong, or you should try adding this in, or what about an expansion that adds this in, or add these miniatures, or like this faction, or whatever. They'll do it. They're crazy. They're, they're awesome with that stuff. And then, they're awesome. And this is why I love Nintendo in the video game world. Nintendo will delay a game and delay a game and delay a game until it is good and finished. And, ready. And, and ready. Yeah. They don't release buggy crap early and hope to fix it with day one patches or with uh, force you into DLC later and get more money out of you later. They do some of that stuff. But uh, I feel Awaken Realms it purposely will delay stuff until it's ready and right. Because they know when it actually delivers, they'll just, you'll want to back their next stuff so much more because they delivered you a quality package all around. Click Chip Theory Games, same thing. Yeah. Cool Mini or Nots, EA of board games. Yeah, I've heard that a few times. But I think uh, it's just because they do business a different way, and that's the problem. They're, they're doing it wrong. They're about just a quick buck, throw it in the garbage. Like, you can tell the care that they put in their games. Like, they get all excited up front. You're like, man, this Zombicide looks so amazing, or this... Blood Rage or any other of the bomb projects they delayed. What was that tower defense like one where you're in the base defending off waves of guys? Uh... Exactly. Nobody knows what it's called because <laughs> it was trash. People backed it, got it, and it was like a junk game. Uh, what about the other one? Um, oh, there was another crazy Kickstarter that cool me or not. I want, I want to show this one. Um, oh, what was the name of that? There was a Kickstarter from like 2012 by Cool Me or Not. That just was a horrible disaster. Oh, what was that one? But that's what it reminds me of. It's just they're like pumping out stuff. It looked all amazing, full of miniatures. It was like sci-fi theme. Oh, I can't remember. Somebody will. But anyways, yeah, it's like an older game. Uh, I forget. But I'll remember it and rant about it later. But yeah, they're just about pumping it out and they don't have to worry after the fact. That's, that's the thing. They yeah. just don't have to worry about after the fact. Smash Up. Smash Up I've played. I played it at a convention. It's neat. I never played that one. It's fine. It's just you're playing this. A lot this... of people talk about it though. Yeah, because but... it's been out forever. It's yeah. kind of like legendary. Like it's just been around oh, so okay. long. It just keeps pumping out expansions every like half hour. They're just like, here's a new <laughs> expansion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, But it's you just take two things. Like it's a card game. You're just playing against each other like a card game. But you just take two factions. I think it's two or is it three factions? I think it's two. You could grab ninjas and robots. And smash them together. Smash them together. Boom. Here's your faction you're playing with. Red Dragon Inn. Red Dragon Inn, I heard, is cool. Yeah, two factions you jam together and smash up. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember playing at a convention. Uh, I remember playing at an AEG event, and they were, like, teaching us. I guess that's why it's called Smash Up. Yeah, yeah. You just literally are, like, that's why you buy so many expansions. People have, like, briefcases and briefcases of expansions, and you'd be, like, what do you want to mix together? Dinosaurs and, and robots or okay. like fairies and ponies and pff, like whatever you want. Just smash it together and play. Hmm. Smash cool. it. Uh, John had a question too about um, Kingdom, De Kingdom Death Monster, about playing that. No, I don't think I'll ever play that. I don't think I'll ever get it. Too much money. It's like an elite club. Nude models, uh, nude minis or whatever, <laughs> boobs and penises all over the miniatures. Uh, no. Yeah, it wouldn't I'm be good. family friendly for sure. Yeah. If I want to play a game with just like dudes on a map and boss fighting, I just play Dark Souls. That's like, that has the IP I like. I'm not knocking it. KDM could be a great game, but uh, yeah, the art style has to be to your taste exactly. But I, the gameplay, I agree. I'm not knocking the gameplay of K, uh, a KDM. I wish I backed that instead of Dark Souls back in the day. Because that was my choice. And I picked Dark Souls because I love the IP. And the game looked looked good. But the end product was different. But yeah. Not knocking KDM. I just have other games I'd, I'd rather play. But. They aren't nude. But definitely not family friendly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know. I know not. Yeah. I yeah. Know. Yeah. I don't know. But I, I wouldn't be worried about it on camera too much. Because I'm not really zoomed in that much. I'm not going to be like, 
holding them up to the camera like look at this look at this <laughs> but i'm not i don't paint miniatures either and that's a big draw to kdm is painting oh my god yeah this is annoying just say no children man children uh so can you play monopoly no no, no we don't no, play no. that yeah. those kind of games here yeah no, no, no Monopoly. Monopoly is like a, a poor design from like 1930-something or whatever that, yeah, they've tweaked and changed and put different themes on, but not something that interests me at all. Yeah, it's something that like, you might be able to play with your grandma maybe, but not yeah, something Yeah, we don't play that on here. Yeah, yeah. Let me see the other one. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, sorry, Origami Artist. It just, yeah, maturity level's kind of lacking there. Uh, Derek see. is here. Good evening. Yeah, Monopoly was built, made before board games were good. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh, I'm, At the time. I'm sure, uh, like, if you gave Monopoly, like, what I would say, and this is the game I play now that just crushes Monopoly, is uh, Lords of Vegas. Oh, love Lords of Vegas. Lords of Vegas gives me that, like, Monopoly kind of weight feel, but it's, like, so fun, and the theme is just great. Like, Lords of Vegas is what I would play and say, don't ever touch Zombicide. Play Lords of Vegas. Is Wolf's Rear my first Zombicide? It feels like it was based on our play tonight. <laughs> it's the first in a long time. No, it's the first no. time we've opened it and played it. Uh, but no, our first Zombicide was the original modern Zombicide. It was one of the first games we bought ever back yeah. in like 2012 or 2013 uh, when we were getting into the hobby. Mm -hmm. It was probably like our third or second or third board game we bought. Black Plague is awesome. Yeah. My favorite one, I think. But yeah. I, like, I like Invader too. We've played through Mission 0 to 8 of Black Plague. Videos are on the channel <laughs> of that. And we thought we'd try this one. Yeah, we were just, it was voted on. We just figured let's put up some Zombicides and see what people wanted us to play. They picked the fantasy theme. So I looked into what we played and what we didn't. And we hadn't touched the Wolfsburg. So King's Dilemma, right? King's Dilemma, Reba? I don't think it's Kong's Dilemma. I'm sure that's a typo, I hope. I've never heard of it. Kings. Kings okay, yeah. perfect. <laughs> I was like, oh, too many board games. That are, I don't even know them all. This is nuts. Uh, no, I, ha I haven't played King's Lama, but it does look awesome. That's the one where it's like, I think I showed it to you. I think it was last year was Origins. It was there. Um, but it's like you have these envelopes and you open them and like you all have to make decisions based on like, or no, you make decisions and then based on the decision, you open a certain envelope and it's like you play through and you, you all work as a group, I think, making decisions and... Yeah, it's just this neat, neat concept, but I know I'm not describing it correctly, but... Oh, you need a group of five. Now I want Kong's Dilemma <laughs> says existing geek. <laughs> hmm. Eat, destroy tank, smash building, or eat banana. Hmm. Successful Geek says, I really want to try out QE. What's QE? What were we talking about? That was QE. Trying to figure it out. Uh... And yes, we did play Pandemic yes. Legacy Season 2 the full way through. When it came out, got it right away, played through the whole thing. Yes, we just didn't do it on camera. Yeah, we like binge played that. We loved yeah. it. Played it over like a couple months, I think it was. That one we played, That I one think? we played faster, yes. Yeah. yeah. The first one played over a year. <laughs> yeah. It took a year to play that one. Yeah. Very fun game. Yeah. Yeah, like those... Uh, rumor was the third one's coming out this year, but who knows all the delays and stuff. Gloom of Killforth, yes. I think you did mention that before, Derek. Oh, he thinks we may like it. Yeah. QE is a money game where you do absurd bids to kind of buy countries or something. It's supposed to be loose rules, but works well. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but I like Lords of Vegas, that's for sure. It's a fun game. Yeah, Lords of Vegas is awesome. They just they're just yeah. doing a Kickstarter for like another expansion. It came out of nowhere. I was like, what? The game? Okay, I thought the game was like gone and dead, but no, they're doing a third expansion for it. Mm -hmm. uh, or second, second expansion for it. Uh, I don't know if it's out on Kickstarter right now, but it's coming soon. I forget what it's called again. Like Shady Dealings or yeah, something like something that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Shady Dealings, I think is correct. All right. I think we're going to wrap it up there. I had more fun chatting with you guys than I did playing Zombicide <laughs> today. I'll be honest. 
I know no. we should just do these every it once was still in a while. Fun. Yeah, just we gotta come do like once a month. Us. Once a month, where yeah. we just like just hang out and chat. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we yeah, should do dragon. that. Good night. Thank you for hanging out all day. Thank this you. has been awesome. So uh, what's what's your plan for tomorrow? Tomorrow is Seventh Continent. We are. Uh, I'm playing, continuing our playthrough of Seventh Continent, the three curse run I'm doing tomorrow afternoon. Saturday we're playing Uthia. We're trying yep. this second scenario, the intermediate level scenario, fighting a different dragon. Going to try some different characters. Uh, playing it for the first time in that scenario, so we're going to kind of be like, holy, let's see what happens. Uh, and then, yeah, Sunday, I'm not sure yet what's going to happen there. Might just not stream, but I have stuff I could. Uh, and then, yeah. We're gonna we do... always have stuff we could. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, but we'll see. Next week, I got some streams already scheduled. Go to youtube.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. Set reminders for any of the upcoming live streams you want to check out. Follow us on the social medias where I post about some of that stuff. Hit that like button. And thank you to everyone watching live. Thank you everyone watching in the future. If you don't want to miss us live in the future, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to support the channel, Patreon links are down below. We just hit our goal. We're going to upgrade some chairs, hopefully. We're going to throw some other goals in there. But thank you to everyone for your support. It all goes back in the channel uh, for purchasing games. Hopefully going to conventions if that ever happens again. If the world ever starts up again. And yeah, it all just goes back in the hobby, back in the channel. So... And you thanks want... to Sam, who donated tonight. Yes, during thanks our... to Sam for upping your yeah, pledge. We appreciate it. Tonight. Probably see him in the Discord for the producer level pledges where you can chat with us behind the scenes. Uh, and yeah, I can rant more in there for you if you want. Uh... <laughs> so if you are a patron, make sure you're linked. Yes, to if, the... if you are a producer tier Patreon, make sure you link. Just Google linking Discord with Patreon if you already have Discord. And it'll show you the button you got to click to like link it up so mm -hmm. you can be automatically pulled in our discord yeah, you can chat with us and you can vote on the games we play like this one yep this we played this tonight because people voted so new poll is up right new poll is up for next week yep, we got some so chill go games vote. on there splendor guild hall the original guild hall and castle, castle panic. panic three chill classic games that we just feel like playing i know they're not exciting new hotness but it's okay we're gonna play like this chill have a beer chat with you guys and just play something that's like very low low key like com less complex so we're getting strategic. through our collection, though, slow and steady yeah, like yeah. this, right? Like, yeah. we're getting through some back ones. Anyways, thanks, thanks a lot so for much. watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.